We're live. Hello, everybody. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I see Book in the chat and Jenny's in the chat. Um, it hasn't told me yet how many people are here. So I'll let you know when I see that, Christina. Let me actually, now that my dog heard me like talking, he woke up and I, I'm, I got, let me let him down from the couch. Okay. <laughs> yep. I'll say hi to everybody. Hello. Hello. Who's here? Much love to you, Buck. Much love to you, Janides. Christina's going to let her dog out. Oh, no, letting her dog in. Hello. Yeah, well, he was on the couch sleeping, so I was like, uh-oh, I think <laughs> I should probably let oh, him down. He's so tiny. Is he full grown? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's he's uh, six, almost 17. Oh, my gosh. He's old. Yeah, he's um, he's my – I've had him since he was six weeks old, and right now he's in um, renal failure, so oh, I've had a lot of – bills and vet appointments and all that so and you're young so you have basically had him like you've grown up with him yeah basically like he was um he was the first dog that i've ever owned myself and i got him when i was like 23 so he moved out to california with me he, like did all yeah so basically like all my adulthood um, where, where are you originally from um, I grew up in Arizona oh, okay. and then my, it's funny cause like all of my family, except for like my generation, like my brother and my cousins, they're all from Brooklyn, New York. Ooh, did so, you get to visit? Um, we did all the time. So, yeah. um, we went anytime I had basically any kind of an extended break, even if it was a week, we'd fly home if it was just with our mom. Um, my dad's from back there too. So, hey, yeah. Andrea. Hi. Yeah. I absolutely love that area. That's why I asked if you visit there. So, I yeah, mean, it's no secret that if you watch my videos, I love New Jersey. And that means, yes. you know, because then I can go to New York and then I can go to Philly and then I can go to um, like DC is just a hop away. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I miss yeah. cities. I was I just telling it. my dad, like, I want to go visit again. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because I miss yeah. it for sure. Well, I have to come visit you guys now. So, yeah. Well, I'm right, well, right before COVID hit, we had tickets to California. We were going to San, uh, yeah, we were flying into San Diego, renting a vehicle, and then driving the coast up. Hey, Angela. Hi. Um, riding up the coast and then like for one or two weeks, I can't remember. Cause your coast is only 18 hours long. Did yeah. You know yeah. Our, co our coast is 33 hours long. It doesn't look like that on a map though, does it? Like well, Maine Florida goes so much further down. Right, exactly. So I've done Maine to Florida. So I was like, oh, California coast will be easy. So then I got a refund cause of COVID and then we haven't, we haven't figured it out yet to go back, but. Hello, Helen. Hello. Hi. Helen's new to us. Welcome, Welcome. Helen. We're going to get started in a little bit. We're just chatting to let everybody come in. And uh, we got to see the puppy. Well, that's not a puppy. That's 17 years old. <laughs> a 17 -year -old My old man. <laughs> yeah. My dogs are going to be coming in in a minute. And then they like run all around behind me. <laughs> Oh, hey, Jamie. We were just talking about California and how I need to go and see my girls. And I will, like, cry like a baby when I meet you guys. Yeah. Yeah, we need to slowly just, like, get everybody out to California. <laughs> I mean, it's not a hardship. Like, meaning, like, my son wants to go there really bad. My husband wants to go really bad. Hey, Stephanie. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Perfecting Hi, Girls. Hi, Julia. Yeah, I'm like, it's not, so, it's not super hard to get people out to, <laughs> to come no. to California. <laughs> no, no. My, hi, Stacey. Hi, Stacey. Um, yeah, my uh, friends actually work, a couple of my friends work in California but live in Maine. Uh -huh. So they get, they get to make California money in well, Maine. That's, that's lucky. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yes. Like, I mean, $130,000 a year out in California is not, that's not rich. Uh, and I don't but, even make that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, but in Maine, that is like, that's doctor money right there. So. I was going to say, like, you're probably, you're probably in a big old house. Like me, I'm like, okay, I have my one bedroom plus a den apartment. <laughs> Like but New York, I'm to get a house so like New York City rent type thing. Is that what it's like? Yeah, um, yeah, like it's like two thousand a month for this one. It's pretty nice. Oh <laughs> um, I it's my house is thousand nice, dollars a month not, mortgage. Yeah, it's not in Orange County or Los Angeles. Like I live in San Bernardino County in like Ontario, Rock. Uh, Rancho Cucamonga is what it's called, but it's kind of, you know, a little nicer ish. I know. I sent a little you a nice. Package, it nicer. Huh? I loved writing, when I sent you a package, I loved writing Ranch Cucamonga or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie's saying you can't even buy a house with a $130,000 salary. Oh my no. God. I can't it, even imagine. Yeah, it's a stretch. Like, I was even looking to buy a house out here. And I was going like all the way out to San Bernardino, which is an extra half. Like, it would be like an hour and a half or two hours to probably two hours to like any of my friends. Cause I don't really have a lot of friends here. Oh, okay. I've only lived in this area for like four years or so, but all the rest of the time I was in orange County. So all my friends are in like orange County and like, are, you, think, are you thinking about going back? Is that what you're saying? I don't know. Maybe we'll see if I get a different job. Maybe yeah. I'll move. <laughs> I know. It's all about that. Well, yeah. I mean, our housing in Maine is really, um, how do you say it? They, uh, what's it? What do they call it? When there's a housing shortage, I feel like there's another word for it. But um, people from away, we call it from away. So if you don't live in Maine, you're from away. <laughs> and, um, it's a Maine thing that I, I didn't start. But oh, okay. um, yeah, so so many people are moving here post COVID because our COVID um, rates were so low, and you know we were very we have cities, and so we have a lot of good infrastructure, but we also have a lot of rural. So and the rural's right outside the cities, so yeah. people are scoffing up houses sight unseen from everywhere. So I'm loving the diversity that's coming here, like. It is in one year I have seen so much color come into our area. I love it. Um, but at the same time, there's just no houses and no apartments. So here, yeah. It's funny what you guys are saying. Uh like Jamie just Jamie, said the right that's actually cheap for a three bedroom and she lives in Orange County. Like that's cheap. Wow. See, okay. <laughs> well, no, so, like, yeah, I mean, yeah, cheap. I would say cheap. Because like it's still a lot of money, but it's very, very affordable compared to what any, and even out here, yeah, people were losing their minds, like losing their minds. Like, okay, yeah, um, I'm gonna buy this house, which we're not in great areas. Um, you know, the house wasn't all fully renovated, and they want to put give you 30,000 cash on top of the appraisal price. So oh, you're yeah, getting no, that's what over what the house there. is worth, and I'm like, no way, dude. I also don't want to overpay that much for a house in right. an area like this that may only go down, I, I don't know, in no, value. I, I, and it, so my yeah. best friend, Brad, you might have heard me talking about him before. He just bought a house here. And he's the one who makes California money, so he's doing really well. Mm -hmm. And uh, he and he's high up in a company in California. So yeah. So he put in, I, I'm trying to think, I, he'll watch this and tell me I said it wrong, but either way, you'll get the point. I think the house was 125,000 and we're talking, you know, three bedroom, two bath, garage, land, right in the city. So that's really good price. But he, on day one, you have to buy the house the day it comes out or or you're, you're, you're gonna lose it to somebody from Jersey or whatever. Yeah. So he offered, I want to say, like, it was something like $30,000 over asking. And mm -hmm. so he got it. Yeah. Well, the bank wouldn't give that, him that money, the difference, because the bank's like, no, it was appraised at this. So long story short, the people selling the house were like, 
well, we're ready to leave. We already bought another house. Like we can't find another buyer. So right. they sold it to him for the 125000 So I'm like, everything you touch is magic, Brad. <laughs> like, right? It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Gabby. People, Hi, Gabby. Yeah, because people were just kind of like. dollars over asking, Janine's just said. Yeah. Well, and what I said, like, and still didn't get it. Yeah, I, I put offers in on eight or nine houses. I didn't get any. And I was, I was like going up to $400,000 on a house that is not a fancy renovated house. Right. I kind of wanted one that was like a little bit older because of, you know, my vibe of what I like that I could renovate, but period accurate yeah, but like yeah. i just mm, mm, mm. if it was a house well, that i was I'm like sure. i'm gonna die in this house then yeah i'd go crazy <laughs> pay you know thirty thousand. Right. i'd pull it out of my 401k or something but if it's a house that i'm like yeah i don't know how long i'm gonna stay here so if you if your job could go mobile then you can yeah. come out here and you can get <laughs> a mansion like so steven the stephen king house so Stephen King's house is 14 houses away from mine and it's oh, a mansion. Cool. Yeah. And then, but all the houses next to it are also these really big mansions, but they go for like 800, 600 to 800,000 for like mansion mansions. So for like 30, 300,000, oh you could get some house girl. <laughs> you could. See, that's crazy. I mean, even in Arizona, cause I know my family is really wanting me to go back to Arizona, which, you know, I'm oh, not. Yeah completely against so hey, you know. hi hey, julie oh it's julie i'm sorry i'm calling her day trip. Well, okay. hey, trip. hello from wyoming oops oh my oh, and girl book get on that <laughs> 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 yeah oh my gosh she paid one hundred and forty thousand for her last home and the thing that sucks is like i go on zillow and i could see five or 10 years ago, how much those identical houses sold for. And I'm like, why, you know, people don't do enough to teach you about real estate. If you're, if you don't have like, cause you know, my family's owned, but a lot of them bought one house and they kind of just stayed in, you know, like they bought one house and it was, you know, that was the way then. back then. Yeah. So I don't have a lot of like real estate climbing, you know, um, never my trust Zillow. Janine said she's a realtor. Never trust Zillow. Yeah, I was using like Redfin, but I still don't think that's like completely because like the sell sold prices like five, 10 years ago. Yeah, he did. But I I don't know. It was kind of hard. Like he's also a, um, a police officer. So I know he had another full time job. So I don't know. It, it's hard because like that realtor sold my friend her house, but she's another police officer who makes a lot of money and she got like this giant crazy brand new house like it's crazy big wow. <laughs> crazy big our like, house is our house is considered pretty i i think it's considered small i mean it's called what's a bangor box so they all were made back in the uh, uh late 1800s they were all made the same and so with a little a little bit of difference they're not row houses or anything but if you look up Bangor box, it's literally a certain kind of house. Oh, and, cool. uh, but our one bathroom is on the second floor, which I hate. And then it's just yeah. three small bedrooms, a uh, living room, which you see a kitchen, an attic and a basement. And it was 120 and we were psyched about that. So. Oh, wow. I would be psyched yeah. about that. <laughs> <laughs> but we have a big backyard. We have um, for, for the city. So our dogs, we don't even walk them. We just open the door and. Oh, that's just, awesome. They can just run around yeah. Back there. Yeah. 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 I was, you know, and he's like, Oh, um, you know, you, you, you could build in the bed. I'm like, I'm not about to build a McMansion when the next door neighbors have a yard full of chickens. Like, come on now. <laughs> like, and it was not out in like super, super rural area. Let's just no. include that. <laughs> Did they also like, have oh. old vehicles in the yard or? Yeah, like, like there were a couple where it was like old couches and I was just like, I'll look at the house, but this one might not be for me. <laughs> we were getting a, um, uh, we were trying to buy land on the coast, which is probably 
an eighth, probably a twelfth the price of what the coast would be for you guys. Well, yeah. I can tell you the land, the land was thirty thirty thousand dollars for I think how many acres? Five. Five or six acres. So we were gonna build on the coast, but the neighbor I'm gonna just say it because you guys are all friends and you know how we all talk here, but the neighbor kept because they didn't want us to buy the house, the people who lived next door that had like the couches and the things all like the junk all outside, they kept pooping, pooping on our land, wiping themselves with socks and leaving it there so we would know it was human poop. <laughs> Cause they didn't want us to buy the land. <laughs> that is something else, man. And we're what like, in the what? holy hell? That's <laughs> crazy. That's like you need some kind of medical attention, like for yeah. something. <laughs> I, I, I would have felt crazy. Like nobody would have believed me ever. And I wasn't about to take pictures of it because it was disgusting and it was constant. But we had the water guy come to do the perk test for the land, and he saw it, and he's like, "What is this?" And I'm like, "Let me show you some other areas where they've done this." So he's like, do not buy this land. It was him who saved me because yeah. I was still trying to make it work. And he's like, no, don't do this to your son. Because the other thing we weren't sure of is my son is black and he had visited a couple times and it didn't start until after that. And it's not a very diverse area, that particular ocean, that coastal area. So I was yeah. like, is this a warning? Like, well, if you're like, loose enough in the head that they're doing that stuff like right off the bat it's like i don't think oh. and the guy so the guy who was selling it was their cousin so i told him my realtor did my realtor told and so he called the police and like he, then he lowered the price like in half to try to get us to buy it and we were like no, no. talk to your family help. members yeah, right. <laughs> like right. that is why we're not buying sell it to them for <laughs> half because i think they want it yeah yeah so, that is that is scary <laughs> it had, a, it had a, a water source there and they were using it for their marijuana um plants but the thing is that's legal that's fine right but they didn't have rights to that water. So that's, I think, why they didn't oh. want to move there too. So it could have been a lot of different factors. I don't well, know. you know, if they had, they could get a, they could get a loan and buy it themselves. <laughs> right. I mean. You're making good money off. I mean, so, yeah. Your family member's willing to sell it for half price. I mean. Get a <laughs> <laughs> yes, Julie, Julie, I am so thankful to that man that I did not buy that property. I saw yeah. him recently and I was like, thank you so much. Because I wasn't listening to reason anywhere else. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. All this all this stuff is hitting home. Nine hundred thousand um, dollars, Julia was saying for in San Diego for a comparable house, which is not that doesn't even make me flinch. Oh um, <laughs> it does not. <laughs> five and Jamie said five or six acres on the coast out here. One doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. Two would be like fifty million. Oh my god. I'm staying in Maine. I mean I'm gonna visit you guys, but yeah, <laughs> it's good to visit. It's just it's it's hard to attain that full like I own a full house and you know blah blah blah. So that's a hard thing to get. But no, everybody here owns a house, a boat, a truck, a car. Yeah, uh, an ATV. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's got all the little goodies in their yard, and because I guess we're not overpaying for housing, so yeah. Well. Uh, it's worth the sacrifice. I got all my burlesque and my pinup and all my yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, there's there are reasons. My Disneyland. To be in California. <laughs> there are definitely reasons to be there. Yes. So for sure. I'm thinking we should probably. We're 20 minutes in. Uh, Christina, I was thinking we should maybe get started. Oh, there's one of my it's dogs selling something. Oh, there I look. Tiki, I know Gabby has so. Oh wait, is Tiki the name of your dog? Yeah. Oh, I was like, Gabby this is Tiki. Oh. So even all those years ago, you were really into Tiki? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. It totally was. So it's it's been a long, um, almost as long as I've been into, like, just general vintage culture. I've wow. been into Tiki culture. So well, I have a Tiki piece. I think it is. I don't know. You know better than me. I have a mask tonight. A tiki oh, cool. Mask, I think. So 
I was like, I want to put something in that is very lilac, very Christina. But then, yeah. like, but then she can't bid on it. So like, I don't know. How that works. Although, right. Well, I'm like, someone enjoy it in my honor. <laughs> <laughs> but I've seen Michael. There was something Michael at Cult of Vintage did. Like somehow he was able to bid in a group sale thing. I don't know how he did it. Like maybe oh, he had funny. another computer going or something, but it was cute. <laughs> Like he was like, wait, what's the starting price? And then you could see him typing <laughs> and he was bidding like, up it. Just sign into my alternate account. <laughs> right. <laughs> right? Um, oh, so Jamie's got, uh, what, 11 on five? Nothing on yeah. Me. Oh my God, you guys. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Angela says she can yeah. do Christina. So, well, hey, wait, I'm not doing, wait, are we doing, are we doing bids? So the only thing that I was thinking of and people could let me know is possibly the 1940s McCoy um, teapot and the open sugar. Um, but that's the only thing that I was considering doing offers on. Everything okay. else is all set price. Okay. So I did set prices and then there were a couple of things too that I was like, well, I'm really not sure. So maybe I'll do offer up. So yeah, good. That's good. I wrote a card in case I'm going to do it as a set price, but... <clears throat> I don't know because I don't know if people want it. Um, I mean, oh, I don't McCoy. Like it, but yeah, the McCoy. I, I love McCoy, and it's old McCoy too. Like it, it the comparable ones I found are all like 1940s. It has. Oh like, yeah, and I love the signature on the bottom. Yeah, me too. And I don't think, by the way, this is molded. I don't think it ever had a top on it. The pictures I've found yes. on Google, right. they were always open. But don't it go? Don't you have another piece with it? Yeah, yeah. Like, like, oh yeah. Okay. So is it a teapot and a creamer? Is that what it is? No, it's a open. It's a sugar and a tea. sugar and a tea. Okay. Yeah, I have seen photos of. God, I'm already like talking. Oh, we we talk about it later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got a whole spiel to tell when you uh when you get. I know. There. I'm just like I'm already tell already telling you guys about. Just never mind. Okay. <laughs> so do you want to go first, honey? I want I. I think guests should go first. Well, it's up to you, though. Sure. Oh, my gosh. Book was saying Tiki's cute sitting there leaning back comfortably. Like, he's all that. Yeah, he, like, oh, he even, like, puts his arm out, like, on me. And he's just like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He always does that. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's so funny how the smaller the dog, the longer the lifespan. It Like, a 17-year-old dog, I couldn't imagine. With Australian Shepherds, I couldn't imagine that. Yeah, and um, you know, it's it's really really it's really been really really hard. I found all of you guys like right when I was dealing with kind of facing all of that. Um, because they say it's end stage, so I don't know when, but um, yeah. So it was really awesome meeting all you guys and just being able to like come back from the vet and like I'll go online and like do a live sale because then I can kind of get my mind off of it. Oh, well, I didn't know you were dealing with that on your first live sale. Or oh, even before when I was just in the audience, like that's when I was really in the thick of it. Um, so yeah. And the tiki thing with Katie with vintage and vinyl, I was like really in the thick of dealing with it. So, Oh yeah. Yeah. And I, I had to put my dog down in, um, thank you, Gabby. The, Gabby's awesome. I had to put my dog down in uh, January and he was my absolute best friend in the whole world. And I'll tell you, I think I cried about it last night, even like it's been seven months, but, and I even got a new puppy, but there's just, I just miss yeah. him. You know? I'm afraid I'm never going to have a connection with him. Like I did with, like, I can't, like, I love animals. Like I definitely will have animals for my whole life, but, um, yeah, it's hard because, like, I feel really – because I've had him since he was so small. Right, right. Um, exactly. You know, six weeks no, old. I know how, yeah, I know how yeah. it is. And, um, yeah, and you'll know when it's time. Like, you don't want yeah. to suffer. And, yeah. yeah, the um, the vet tech, I don't know if she's in here yet. She was at my last sale. Um, oh, that's she, sweet. So Auntie Kelly has been amazing, and she helps me give him his fluid injections. He takes – 50 ml, it's about a, a syringe like this and this big around of fluid. Wow. And it has to go underneath his skin um, every three days. So it's hard wow. to do it myself. So she helped me. So it's been really, really awesome. Having I didn't know that. you had to go through that. And that's yeah. hard to like, you love your animal and you're like, I don't want to hurt you. And 
Yeah, and very, very expensive um, in general. <laughs> the the blood right. tests are expensive, and the, yeah, it's all crazy. Wow. But, yeah, sorry I'm rambling. So uh, No, no, you're good. <laughs> Let's start selling. I love that I'm wearing think. octopus and you're wearing. Leopard. I have my leopard print on. <laughs> I sent a picture of you to my friends and I was like, to my best friends. I was like, here's my new best friend. She's part of our group now. She doesn't know you guys, but like, she's part <laughs> friend. And, um, yeah. I'm like, I might have, I might be a little bit in love with her. And it, it was so funny because each one of them, there's three of them. Each one was like, Hmm, who does she remind us of? And they were like totally being jerks about it. They were like, hmm. So basically Jody's in love with herself is what <laughs> she's saying. <laughs> I and I was like, like yeah, maybe. Like, maybe. I've, maybe I've, been, I've been there before where I'm just like, oh, is that narcissistic? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I'm a narcissist. Fine. Well, like, it, it took me. It took me a very long time to to accept and love myself enough to say, "Oh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm." Yeah, so, I was like, I'm pretty sure she has I'll the tattoo it. in the same place. I'm pretty sure we have the same breasts. I'm like, we have the same <laughs> interests. <Probably. laughs> like, yeah, we we're always got our lipstick on. Like, yep. yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. it was really funny. Okay, so let's hey, do. Hey, hi, Tammy. Tammy's hi, Carrie. Here. Oh, Carrie's Tammy. here. Carrie and Tammy. What a great, great crew. Lynn, hello. Oh, Lynn. Hi, Lynn. I'm just meeting Lynn. Aww. Oh, geez. Yeah, well, I Carrie, know it's, I don't know where Carrie lives, so I don't know what time it is for Carrie, but I, t I tell her. Oh, this my God. She took it deep now. When she oh, wait, we didn't even do, we didn't even say like, okay, so pretty much everyone on here knows what they're doing, but I'll just say a couple of things like, um, there might be a lag. So, uh, in the comments. So, and ha have you ever, um, Christina, have you ever like figured out what to do about that? Like, meaning should I do like say a countdown? And then people can see like how much their lag time is for if it's an offer up. No, I just mean like right now, like, okay. So um, no, usually, I mean, usually I, when I say it, I just kind of wait. And then um, if it comes up after, cause I have like, I write on, I have like an index card for each item. So I just flip back to it and write it down on the index card to keep track of who won. Right. Um, I'm just trying to think like, well, I guess people will see if they, if so, like I'm doing letters and you're doing numbers. So, oh, if, okay. so if, um, if they put in say a and it, and they're fourth, but they saw themselves first, then. Oh, like who are going to gonna confirm it? Hey, Berkeley girl. Um, and Janice, you're awesome. So stop it. You're the one who's awesome. Everyone refresh <laughs> and make sure you're on live chat and not top chat. Thank you, Janice. I think that oh, I could last. either double check it on my phone. Yeah, or... Elise, Elise is over here too. Oh, okay, cool. And he's got his computer. So he last time he had a 10 second lag. It so... does lag a lot when like when that's why sometimes a lot of times it's very common. Like people move on kind of if they're going quickly, because then it all of a sudden it goes whoop and like a whole bunch pop yes, up. Yes, exactly. I so... feel like that happened to me. And I'm yeah. up, oh, Dave. Oh, David's here. Dave and Berkeley girl. Hello. David and Tammy are married. I love that they come on here separately. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, those, oh, there's my husband. Hello. Um, is there anything else we should be saying? Everyone here looks like they know what they're doing. I know. Oh. If anybody is new, um, basically how we're going to do it is I will describe and Jody will describe the item. We will give you the price, and then after that, we will give you. I will be giving you numbers. Jody will be giving you letters, and the first person to type that i that letter or number in will receive the item. Uh, if it is an offer up, it is similar to a bid. So, um, if we start the item at say ten dollars, then we will start a bidding process. If it slows down, we will do a countdown. And the last person to win gets the item. I don't think we're going to do any kind of just-in-case stuff. Probably not. Uh, 
No. Nah. I, I mean, I avoid it. I've never it done an like, offer up. Yeah. So like, I, like I was telling Jody when she was like, you should host. And I was like, I'm scared of hosting. I'm always that person that like is like inviting people. And then I'm like, what if nobody shows up to the party? <laughs> so part of me is like, if I do an offer up, I'm afraid I'm going to be like, <laughs> no, what's going to happen? I don't think I'll have a problem with just some cases. <laughs> <laughs> I've done offer ups when no one, no one does anything. Yeah. And so, so then it happens. I just, um, okay. And I buy stuff that I don't hate. So if I'm like, well, we'll keep this for a little bit and then we'll try again. Exactly. I do not buy things that I don't like. The other thing I'll say before you get started, sweetheart, is um, is that she is, uh, Christina Lilac is shipping from California and I am shipping from Maine. So this is our coast to coast thing that if we both enjoy this and I hope we do. Hi, Piper's mom. Um, I would like to keep going to ship my new <laughs> <laughs> so uh <laughs> Christina, we're here. Um and I love that Tammy just said that her and her husband are separated in live sales. <laughs> no, and, um, and book said uh that you're handsome or gorgeous or something like that. So okay. We're all handsome friends here maniac now. main guy. Yeah, because that's what he calls himself. Don't even <laughs> don't even try to understand. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> it's a thing. Okay, okay so go ahead, sweetheart. Sorry for my delay. I will sell you guys stuff eventually. Trust me. <laughs> okay. So today when I pull stuff together, I kind of in my head get a light theme. So it's kind of like nature and strawberries and like summer. So the first item I pulled for you guys is this really beautiful bell. I feel like this might be a Fenton bell. I couldn't find a mark. I know in the bells they're in different um, areas. Let's see if you can. Oops. I don't know what I did. So you guys can see there, it is a light pink color. It is a glossy, um, a glossy glass, but it is a similar pink to like a depression glass pink. Um, a little kind of clear clanker. Yeah, I mean, I tried to feel in there where like the fence, actually, I think this is Fenton. I think the, um, cause I just felt the oval and kind of see it. I think it's just super light. Cause I've actually seen pieces that are Fenton that are similar to this. So this strawberry bell is going to be $14 and it is number 68 today. $14 and number 68 for the pink glass bell. Ooh. Oh, okay. No, it's okay. I put um, you by yourself, but it, it did a little um, funky thing. So then when I had it, the two of us, it do doesn't seem to have like a, like you, uh, what's the word? Not delay. Pop in there? Buffering. Yes. It was a little bit oh, of buffering. Oh, thank you, Lynn so. Fogel. I have you for the bell. And then um, you can go ahead and send me an email, lilacsvintage at gmail.com. I'm sure Jody has in the description all the stuff you have to send us. And I will. I will. Yes. And I am now fully set up. The people that bought from my first sale, there was a big delay because I was like trying to figure it out. I had to take it to Arizona because I didn't have a package scale. I didn't have <laughs> like a couple things. My mom has done eBay for years and so has my brother. So they helped me out. And now today I have a package scale coming. I have um, all of uh, a ring light coming. <laughs> I'm looking in my ring light right now and my package scale is right here. Yeah, yeah. Like story of my life is um, me. I'm not jumping full into this. I'm gonna, you know, take my time and blah, blah, blah. Two weeks later, I'm like, got the ring light. I got the thing. I'm looking into a thermal printer. I'm just like, this is my life. Like, burlesque, well, pin up, all of it. I was just like, no. No, that's me. I'm telling you that we're not that different, girl. Hey, I book, I accept, so. I accept your marriage proposal, book. Oh, book. I accept, too. I love, I love friend polygamy. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I can have, I can have, um. I could have uh, 
spouses in every state. I'm good with yes. that. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm going to find my first, I'm going to find my first thing. Let's do this. Okay. Okay. So my second, cause I have, oh, do you oh, want do me to do, do two at a time? Two? Let's do two at a time. Okay. Yep. I like that. I didn't know if you, if you weren't doing that. No, I thought, okay. So this is one of the things I got in that is like, she had like all these at the estate sale, like all these jewelry display things, and I thought oh, I could keep that's that brilliant. in it. But mm. yes, Julie, I'm gonna get a thermal printer too. So I, I, so I told my mom if I'm still, which I probably will be, but if I'm still going full steam ahead by Christmas time, that could be my <laughs> Christmas present. By Christmas okay. time, I love it. You will. Be. <laughs> you will be. So this next item is a rose brooch. That's beautiful. It is a three-dimensional brooch. It is fully metal, and this has the matte red covering on there. The gold is glossy. It is marked, but um. I forgot to bring my loop home from work because I have a loop for work um, to read what it is. It looks like it says Cerrito to me. I'm wondering if um, while you're reading that, if Piper's mom is seeing the dogs in the background playing on my couch because that's her favorite. <laughs> <laughs> right. You're just like, oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and um, the oh, brooch is two and a half inches high and one and a half inches wide. So it is a good size brooch. It has that would just look really good on what you're wearing. I know, right? It's the and the red is really, really striking. Yeah. So it has some very, very slight wear in about two places on the edges for the red. So for this item, the lovely red rose brooch. It is going to be $20 and it is number 59 today. $20, Beautiful. number 59 for the red rose brooch. Beautiful. I hope somebody picks that up. That's really nice. I saved yeah. all my brooches for when I go on with um, Daniel this weekend. Yes, so. I mean, I, I, I swear, I try to, even for Jamie, I try to, it's so early in the West Coast. Oh, uh, I know. Well, I rewatched it at the end, but I'm like, I'm so sorry I wasn't there live. No, for you guys, it's early. Um, oh my gosh, Piper's mom had to hide the screen from her dog so they won't attack the screen when my dogs oh are my on. Oh, God. <laughs> Whoops. I didn't mean for that to happen. And thank you. Right. Um, Oh, Andrea, I love Aussies. And English Shepherds are freaking awesome. So that's cool. Um, yeah, uh, Daniel's show for me, uh, I think, is 10 a.m. Oh, uh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. So I'll go, I'll go so early. to then. I'll go, I'll grab this. I'm not as organized as you. And what's really funny, can you pass me that squirrel, honey? What's really funny is like, I love the way you describe everything because you do your research. <laughs> I'm just like, here's this purple thing. It's really purpley. <laughs> and no chips on the purple. Hey, Tiffany. Hello. It's great. Um, yeah, that's how I describe things. I'm like, it, I'm like, if it has something on the bottom, cool. Okay, right. So, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> here, baby. Oh, no, I need it first. So. I don't think that this is Blue Mountain Pottery because oh, Blue Mountain so Pottery would say it. Am I right? I mean, yes, I believe so. Um, that's where a sticker was. So there's nothing on it whatsoever. But this squirrel reminds me of Blue Mountain Pottery. But here's the coolest thing about this squirrel. It has a hole in its head. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so you could, I mean, this is huge, but, you know. I don't know. I I love it. I love this pottery <laughs> stuff. That's awesome. You can put your toothbrush in it. You can yes. Yeah. I don't I, I'm not um like Christina. I cannot talk about the glaze, but I can talk about the belly button. The belly button <laughs> is just amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I talk about things. Had a great belly button. <laughs> Has a great belly button, nice tail, <laughs> no bum bum. I always look for the bum bums. Yeah, on its head looks like Blue Mountain pottery, but isn't. 
Um, this sweet little friend is about, well, I do remember when you guys were all doing this big, it's about this big. <laughs> yes. okay. um, isn't that a Gina thing? I love it. Yeah, totally. Four, thing. four inches and he is $8 for letter J. $8 letter J or a paintbrush holder. That's really a good idea. Mm -hmm. uh, and then let like the paint drip down him and he becomes a totally different squirrel or she. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be awesome. It's like transforming. <laughs> I have the funniest collection of silly sweet stuff from Jody. Yeah, I like silly sweet things. Thanks, Buck. Yay. All right, so I'm going to put that aside. All right. So my next one. This is not quite, um, I don't think this is very vintage, to be frank with you. It's brass. Uh, it's a brass covered dish. It looks like what you guys call cloisonne, but I know that it's not. It's but it's got that like outline. It's very, very pretty. The reason I don't think it's vintage is because of the price tag that's on the bottom. <laughs> Did you see what Janine's just said? <laughs> that's, the, that's the way I talk. Yeah. <laughs> no sticker in a hole in his head. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, just a, a nice bowl um, with the turtle, a fish, ocean scene. The reason I don't think it's vintage is because it has a price tag on the back for fifteen ninety five from Flora's. I don't know where that is. I just imagine that fifteen ninety five would be a more modern price. I think these would go for more. So maybe this is early two thousands or nineteen nineties. But um, it is. It weighs. It weighs a pound. So just know that. And this turtle brass dish that I'm holding wrong now is um, eight dollars. The diameter is five inches in diameter. Eight dollars and it is letter M. Eight dollars M. Thanks, Daddy. Okay, those were my two, sweetheart. Awesome. Sorry, guys. Uh, Tiki was bugging me, so I think he's hungry. I put a treat on Aww. him. Okay, so my next item are these two little salt and pepper shakers. They have um what seems to be a hand-painted design because they are slightly different on either one. What are, what's the scene on them, honey? Is it a house? It's kind of like a, um, like a farm, like a rural scene. It's uh, a little house with some trees and shrubs, a um, little kind of brook there. Oh, nice. And then, you know, the back is just kind of more plain. Are they pottery? Yes. They're ceramic. They're just, you know, little simple guys to kind of add, add a little touch there. Do you want me to try and have you go full screen when? If he, I mean, if you want, it doesn't, I haven't shown anything that's too crazy. Okay. They just came made in Japan. Um, so these little salt and pepper shakers, they're good to kind of add a little color pop to your displays for the fall. And these little guys are going to be four dollars, and they are number fifty-six. Four dollars fifty-six for the set of salt and pepper shakers. They're not lusterware; they're just um, glazed, and uh, they do both still have their original cork stoppers. So that is a really good price. Yeah, fifty-six four dollars. I know they're not like super kitschy, but like I said, I do like kind of adding a little something extra to my displays. So that is that item, and my second item is a cool figurine. I'm such a figurine girl. I can't like pass up a good figurine. It just does not happen. <laughs> That's not bad. I know, right? It's just like, this is not going to be a thing that's going to happen. Today. You're just never going to be able to buy one of those $500,000 houses if you keep not passing. That's the problem. Paper. Like, all the tchotchkes I have, like, I could, <laughs> I know my mom is probably like, just sell it all and it's fine. And then you buy a house. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so, that's this pretty. next um, item that I have, it is all a satin finish. 
If you need me to go large for this, let me know. Okay. If you, I mean, if you want, yeah, sure, we can. I can okay. go. Okay. It only. Um, oops. Wait a minute. Oh, I have choices. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I can do. Um, okay. Well, and I uh, think there's a way you can like put your finger and like drag it over, and then it like switches. Yeah. Yeah, like that. We did it. Okay. So this is the back of the piece, and you can see the front of that little birdie. And then you go all the way around, and you could see the front of this little bird. Now, I meticulously at the shop checked every single petal on every single little flower, and there is not one broken petal, not one broken flower. This is a beautiful item here. It is beautiful. That it's is so really, beautiful. really unique. And again, it's more of a satin glaze. It's not a totally matte bisque. It is a satin glaze, and you can tell that it is hand-painted. The bottom just has an AG on it. It does not have a maker's mark or a sticker, and it does have a little felt, so it does not scratch up your tables. Those, or you're those put flowers are really interesting. They're they beautiful, awesome. and the coloring is really, really pretty because it's like a teal with a yellow, and it kind of has um, the pink-colored flowers. So for this little bird set, they are going to be $18. And the item is five and a half inches high by five and three quarters inches wide. So it is a fairly good size, $18. And it is number 66 for the little bird pair. $18, number 66 <laughs> for the bird. Yeah. <laughs> right. Aren't these gorgeous? Like this is such a dynamic piece that I had to pick it up. And when I saw that there is not a chip or a crack anywhere in this item, especially with all of the flowers, I had to snag it really, really fast. Absolutely. <laughs> that Absolutely. is super rare. So that is that item. And those are my two. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank now you. I'm sorry. I just dragged myself over. Oh, yeah. there we go. Okay, and, you know, because I'm just staring at you the whole time, I'm completely unprepared for my next ones. So, <laughs> um, but thankfully, they're all right here. Okay, so this does not have a hole in its head, but this dog, <laughs> oh, this dog is judging all of your bad choices. <laughs> Look at this dog. I cannot think of him as being in any other, like, emotional state other than judgment. Totally. Yeah. Um, he's really pretty, though. And I think, would you call this like luster? I mean, is it like luster wear? It I mean, looks super, super glossy. It almost very, does have a luster wear feel to yeah. it because it's really glossy. Yes. And he yeah. has, I mean, he has some detail like rib where his ribs are and or mm -hmm. they. I hate saying he or she, but they. Um yeah, they have no chips or cracks. Very, very nicely done. Um, I will sit in judgment for you of anybody you need <laughs> to judge. And um, this one is $8 if you give me I. I sit in judgment for $8. Very good price for that. That is a cutie. Thank you. <laughs> okay. And then my net, oops, did you make coffee? No, but I will. Oh, yes. I want coffee. Okay. So let me pull something out of here. Okay. Oh, I have to drop something. Uh, and I totally right. Oh, my gosh. I broke one of my favorite things, literally. No. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. I'll sell the other two pieces that go with it. Um, whoops. Whoops. Okay. Did it break? It totally just broke. Oh, what? No. It just now it broke? Yeah, I just dropped it. Oh. I drop something every time. So, yeah, this isn't our first rodeo. <laughs> so, he's just cleaning it up for the dog. Oh, so, no. Yeah, did you see the owl coffee thing I bought? The I owl, know. the uh, it holds the coffee and then the creamer and sugar. Well, oh, the, the big coffee thing just broke. Just oh. cream and sugar in it. 
Yeah, just cream yeah. and sugar now. So discount, discount. Rest in peace, Al. Thank you guys for for being like no. But I'm, so, I'm so used to my clumsiness now; it's ridiculous. So, um, you know, I don't want to do this one next. I feel like we need something happy after that. Okay, so I don't know if anybody saw me show this in my haul, but this Cinderella book is so incredible because one, she's a brunette. Um, yeah, this was made in, so it's an Oxford, it's a British edition, but look at, she is a brunette. He's a brunette, but he has like darker skin. And in one picture, you can see it like very, very oh, cool. Yeah. So it's, illustration wise it's this whole different take on cinderella i think look at her and her stepmom nice. I, just, I think this is so beautiful and it is oxford university press and i'm trying to find the date um so it was first printed in 1987 and this is the 1988 reprint the, it is in perfect condition totally perfect condition and it is ten dollars whoops and it is the letter d ten dollars for this cinderella uk book d was that two for me yeah because you did the dog first yeah and then i did yeah yeah, yeah so it was two i'm yeah. like uh i don't know <laughs> oh she breaks something every day every other day oh coffee and donuts thank you oh i might be maybe i'll maybe i'll drive through and get a crispy cream <laughs> Yes. Yes. I broke a fairy lamp on one of my sales before it sold. No, so. not a fairy <laughs> lamp. The whole world, like the whole vintage world went nuts when she it's did like, that. Uh... <laughs> well, here's the bottom of, well, here I'll show, like, it's a headless owl now. Oh no, that's yeah. so sad. Uh, maybe I'll use it for pens or something. Yeah. Okay. Oh well. I hate when stuff breaks. I've had a such a crappy string of luck at with getting stuff shipped to me that I plan to like sell in the live sale or at that in-person event that I'm doing in a couple months and the whole thing breaks and I'm just like, no. Oh, in on the way to you? It yeah, getting shipped to me from wherever I get it. If it's like an auction or an estate auction or whatever, it's like, <sighs> so oh, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to, uh, tussle with FedEx right now. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Okay. So the next item that I have, um, it's a set of three and I have two sets. If two people want these, these are super, super cool for bowl fillers. They have that vintage millinery, um, style. So they have the fabric and wire, um, stem, the fabric, little, um, leaves, and then the actual, um, strawberry is covered with those really, really cool glass beads and they're pretty, pretty big. So the strawberry from top of the stem to the bottom is four inches and it's two and a half inches wide because it is a pretty big, pretty yeah, big that's... guy. Oh, and, I need strawberries that big. Right? I know that this is the kind you got to put in some chocolate. <laughs> yeah. So you see how it looks in this beautiful art glass bowl that I'm going to be uh, selling up next here. So, and I know a lot of us are strawberry people so um again i have two sets of three if there are more than one person that would like to buy this item and for the vintage set of strawberries it's going to be twelve dollars for three of these twelve dollars for three of these and it is number 72 if you're interested 72 for $12. And if there are two people that wanted them or one person that wanted all six, $12 for three. Very nice. I like yeah, that. I've I've never seen like the big, I've seen berries, like raspberries and things like that. Thank you, book. Did you want just the one set, hun? She 
to let me know while I'm organizing my things. And you've got the dish coming up, right? Yes. So this is a beautiful art glass dish. Now, I'm not sure if it's Murano. I'm um, I'm always a little apprehensive to say Murano, not Murano. You know, I don't know. But um, so <clears throat> I'm told you can tell by the pontal, but I can't. It has a very, very, very smooth um, pontal that I'm sure at one point was um, a little bit more polished. There is um, a couple of tiny, like just some tiny little surface, like kind of scrapes. You can kind of, oh yeah, there you can kind of see it. Yeah. Like on the bottom there, just a little bit. Um, it doesn't really affect the item. There's one small and I'm trying to figure out if this is just something that's stuck in there or if it's a glass glass inclusion but it's like right there oh yeah um book, now it's gonna take the one set honey thank what? you book. for three gonna take the one set so oh uh, she wants both sets but she's only buying one right now oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so if anybody else wants um another, another set, set of those... strawberries let me know yes Okay, so this bowl, it's really, really beautiful. It is green all the way around. And these small, um, the small pieces here are clear glass. Um, when I went over the whole thing, I think this is the only, so the only boo-boo is right here. It looks just, it's just like a small little, um, Kind of like drop point if you could see it there i yeah i can't really so it mustn't be it very doesn't go oh, I see it a little bit yeah like you can kind of see it here and like here so but when you're when you have the item up like it's it, it took me a long time to find it and it's right. on the underneath part here it does have the control i'm gonna be right control. back honey because i have to let my dog out oh yeah no worries back. It does have the controlled bubbles inside. And yeah, you let me know. It's a really, really pretty green color. The bowl itself is, get you the measurements. The width is seven and a quarter inches wide this way. And it is three and three quarters inches um, tall. So seven and a quarter inches across, and it is three and three quarters tall for the glass bowl. And again, I don't know if it is Murano um, because it does have a smooth pontal, really beautiful controlled bubbles in this one. So um, actually, I forgot that it did have a boo-boo on it, so I'm going to mark this guy down. It's really not a boo-boo that detracts in any way, though, for sure. I know. I just, like, I didn't want to... I forgot, I know how to charge it. So um, it was originally 22, I'm marking it down to $18 for the really pretty glass, green glass bowl. And it is number 71, if anybody is interested, it is $18, number 71 for the controlled bubble bowl. <laughs> <laughs> That's a mouthful, $18, number 71. You're and that is my to... second item for this round. <laughs> Thank you. You're good to even say controlled bubble because I'm like, I can never remember the phrase. So I'm like, you know, when the bubbles are all like equally apart, like that, yeah. you know. I, you know, when it's all like the same. <laughs> the same, yeah. I'll use like eight words when only like, it's because I'm missing one. So, um, okay. So my first in this round are going to be these pink dishes, which tend to look peach on screen but they're like a blush pink oh, so hopefully pretty. yeah hopefully that's coming out they are completely square and six inches square <clears throat> to me they look very mid-century but if jamie's here she'd have to tell me she's <laughs> the queen of that um i just liked the look i they don't have a mark on them or anything like that. They're very sturdy. I I like the lines. I'm just a sucker for 
symmetry and geometry. So um, anyhow, six inches, blush pink. I don't have all the awesome words. They make you feel happy to look at. Oh, that's nice. I don't have the uh, the fancy words for, for glassware or for anything really. But these are $14 U. $14, oh, is that a U? Yes, it's a U. <laughs> I was like, is that an upside down? An upside down N? What's happening? No, that's a U. Yeah, so maybe a little earlier, Jamie says, maybe more yeah. upside down. Yeah. It looks like it could be deco. Those are really, really pretty. They are very pretty. And I don't normally pick up stuff like this, but I was just really, again, drawn to the lines. So you for $14. And then this next one is just kind of a funny thing. I wanted. I like funny things. You guys know that. Um, wrote the above. Oh, she liked your um, the green, glass yeah, she liked the green one made, made her feel happy. <laughs> yeah. So my pink ones, yeah, they don't elicit happiness, apparently. They elicit they're happiness for me. I love pink glass. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got a lot of pink this week, and I'm hoping I can find some some pink people. So, um, so I love these old like Pulp Fiction. Um, oh, nice. Fiction, yeah, these these old books, and The Doctor's Return. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, let's see, it was given to Robin and Joan Porter. So I don't know if Robin like was a male. It used to be quite the male name, am I right? But so it might be a couple, but given to them in 1973. Here comes the coffee, you guys. Yeah. Yay, thank you. <laughs> and it is um, this printing. So it's copyright 1942. So you know that's Ooh. oh hi Debbie, welcome. Hi. So you know the the doctor and the lady probably got it on, but not so like uh salaciously. As, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh and this is the fifth printing, so it was pretty popular, I'm guessing. So 1971, it's in really good condition. It's only five dollars. I feel like this would look so good in a display. Here come the dogs, look. Nice and runny and playing. <laughs> they just come in full tilt. And it is S for $5. I'm looking to see who's new here. So that is my last one, S for $5. The handsome doctor and the lovely nurse getting it on. Okay. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm assuming. He returned. Right. He Me, allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> All right, girl, your turn. All righty. Okay, so my next item is just a little tin. I don't think it's super old. It has that cool matte finish that is that I always love to kind of feel. It is a Keller Charles of Philadelphia brand tin. Super clean on the inside. I love um, the black, the graphics on black. Yeah, I love the um, the graphic on the black. I love the matte um, texture. It's kind of like the same texture that the vintage pins have. It has a really beautiful vine all the way around it. And these are nice to kind of either put prop in the back because it's a rectangle. It sits very nicely and it is thin, so it's not going to take up a lot of room on your shelf. Or um, the item is nice size for like a small sewing kit. Like I know I hear some people say you could stash stuff in here. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking chocolate and bonbons, but. Oh yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking too. They could be infused. They could be infused if you want. <laughs> so this little tin with the great graphics on it. Um, there is not a dent on the tin. It's like brand new condition. And this little tin is going to be only $4. And it is number 53. Nice. $4 number 53 for this super pretty tin with the lovely graphics on there. 53 so dollars i know and i love i love that it was on the black that's mm -hmm. that's a, that's right up my alley okay so 
I'm oh wait, I had a second thing, I think. Huh? Oh no, no, go ahead. I was um I'm trying something. Oh, okay. So did, this did next... anyone put in 53? No. I, not yet that I had seen. Okay, because I just did. <laughs> <laughs> On my husband's. Yeah, thank you, Joe. Thank you, Jody. <laughs> that is so me, girl. Hey, nice. Black Dog. That's Nikki, right? Black Dog is Nikki and John. I think so, yes. And I know I saw them, <laughs> I think, in Tammy's oh. live stream. Right, oh, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Gabby. She's congratulating me on my Tinder. <laughs> on your purchase. <laughs> <laughs> so the next item that I have is this little Lefton girl. She has her basket of flowers. She has a really pretty dress on with embossed or debossed floral pattern. And she has her little ruffled dress. All of her fingers are in perfect condition. Nothing is chipped off. She has a bonnet with her hair curled. The back of her bonnet is covered in the blue roses and she has a cool green bow, little kind Debbie, of profile. Debbie Lilac is, Debbie Lilac is mailing from uh, California and I am mailing from Maine. Yes. And we both use, do you use pirate ship, honey? I use pirate ship. Um, I did everything I could to try to keep the shipping down as low as possible for my first um, group. So um, I definitely think that I can try my best always to keep it uh, as, oh, thank you, Debbie. That's, she's talking about both of us. <laughs> <laughs> well, or she's talking about the girl. <laughs> she is. But see, we both were like, Oh, like I was like, lovely. oh my God, thank you so much. <laughs> Great. So this little girl, the only um little ding that she had was right there. <clears throat> it's very, very small. If you want, I can touch that up for you. You won't even see it anymore. Is it on the blue? I didn't see it. It's right here on the green um, trim of her dress. See that one little dot right there? Oh, I thought it was a flower. Yeah, it's just that little tiny dot. That's the only imperfection that she has on her at all. Um, like I said, again, her fingers and her hand is in perfect condition. Her little nose. Okay, this girl, she is also a music box. She plays What Now My Love. I'm a, I, I'll turn it but after i'm done with this i may need to walk her to another room <laughs> so that she's not like playing music during the entire show so and she does still have um a sticker on her oh you might want her on a flatter surface there you go <laughs> But you guys can see that she um, she spins slowly spins around while she plays the song. I like her. She's so pretty. Like I grabbed her when I looked at her to see like that every you know her bonnet is in perfect condition, her fingers, her little face. She's very very pretty girl. Um, and I saw Etsy they attributed her to Lefton. So that is what I have seen. Yeah. Maybe. All right. So now we are going to do this and then she <laughs> may go in another room just so she's not playing the whole time. <laughs> so this little girl with the beautiful blue dress is going to be $16 and she is number 50. $16, number 50 for this beautiful girl. She is eight inches high, so she is a good size figurine. She is $16, and she is number 50, if anybody is interested. Thank Yay, you, Debbie. Debbie got her. Debbie was You are going to her. love her. She is so sweet. And the song that she plays is just so beautiful. It's not annoying at all. Like, it's a beautiful, beautiful song. So I think you're going to love her. Thank you. 
Yeah, congratulations, Debbie. I know you were trying to get her. And hi, yeah, uh, congratulations. To I'm happy you love her as much as I do. <laughs> was that two, honey? I'm not even keeping track. Yeah, yeah. My first. Oh, my first one was the tin that you bought from me. Oh that my I gosh! Put, see, but I have to put I in this pile now, so I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I'm just like literally staring and drinking my coffee, like not paying attention to what you're like. Yeah, I'm, oh, to, I'm, I'm selling to food today. <laughs> Thank you, Debbie. Yeah. You're like, oh, I'm, I'm just hanging out too. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, yeah, exactly. Right? I feel like I'm in the chat, just like hanging yeah. out with my face occasionally being up there. <laughs> so, all right. So here are owls that I did not break yet. And we're not going to, inshallah. I am not going to break yeah. these. Okay. No. So this is the, let's see. I want to say it the right way. It is, what is it? Hear no evil. These owls. Hear no evil. See no evil. Cute. And speak no evil. So these three owls, I think I did that in the right order. If I didn't, please let me know, guys. So these are, what kind of material are these? See, I, they're not wood, they're not pottery, they're not porcelain. Like, I feel like I could drop these and they wouldn't break, but I'm not exactly sure what the material is. So Are they either like resin or? Yeah, is resin, resin's really thick, right? Yeah, but it could also be maybe some kind of a, I'm bad. Once it gets to be not like chalkware or ceramic, yeah. I'm like, I. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Julie's wondering if it's resin too. I'd have no fun. Yeah, yeah it might this. be resin. <laughs> it's usually <Yeah>. like. <laughs> yes, exactly, Lynn. I agree. Exactly. <laughs> um, I was trying to figure out as I was getting these ready, like, why do we say that? Because here, okay, this is probably getting a little too deep, but I'm like, if you see no evil and hear no evil, like, then you can't do anything to combat it. But I'm like such a, um, what is it, activist, I guess, is maybe yeah. one of the words. So I'm like, wait, that's, this isn't good to be like this. Like, maybe this speak no evil is probably good. But anyway, yeah. it's a saying. I need to figure out where it came from because now I'm trying to figure out, like, why we always said it. But anyway, so this is $10 for the set of three. And it is C, the letter C. I have to itch my nose. Did I say how tall they were? I didn't. I don't think so. No, three and a half, about three and a half to four inches. I think Avon would love these, but I don't see yeah, Avon those today. Yeah, those are horrible. Yeah. So $10 for C. And all right. I'm going to do a big thing right now, or bigger. Oh, Pat. Hi, Pat. Look at you being all quiet. Hello. Let me write your name down, sweetie. Thank you, Pat. Hi, Marianne. Oh, Marianne, oh. Marianne got here and she's, um, I think she might be saying B for something earlier. I wonder if I did, I must have used B earlier. So, Marianne, I will um, check on that for you, honey. Yes. Let's be activists, book. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's totally like me to look at these three owls and be like, wait a minute, something's wrong with this. Hang like, on a second. Yeah, hang on a second. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Okay. The next piece, it, I am wild for these embroidery pieces. Oh, yeah, I love that. And that thick embroidery, what is that called again? Cruel? Oh, B is for my last name. Sorry. Oh, okay. I'm, that's okay, Mary. Well. <laughs> Cruel, yeah, cruel, C-R-E-W-E-L, yeah. So the the fabric that this cruel is on is so perfect. Thank you, Gabby. And the olive color, just, oh, I want to bite it. Like, it is so pretty. So pretty. And you can see the vintage framing in the back, the rope. Nice, it's, I like that. It's very clean. It, there's no smell. Like, sometimes they hold scents. Mm -hmm. But none at all. The gold trim around it, I would keep it in this frame. I think it's perfect. But um, let me see how... I'm not as good as Christina and have all my sizes ahead of time. No, I'm... 
<laughs> no, you are awesome at that. This morning, or it was like late last night, I was measuring stuff and I'm like, I feel like I'm still not ready. Jamie's watching my dogs in the background. I forget that they like put on their own show. Yeah, they're, they're like playing. Oh, they love each other. So all there's three total and they love each yes. other so much. Yes, this is Boho Incarnate. And not it, nothing is falling apart. It is so perfect. Um, and the colors just make me like again want to just bite it. So um, so I it is 12 by 14 very light so this won't be heavy to ship at all and it is 18 dollars for letter b 18 dollars b i love how dimensional that one is too it looks like it just pops off the it does fabric. yeah i never see these that well done honestly like i always run yeah. after them and then i'm disappointed but this is perfect and again like you were saying um if I have to keep it, I'm not gonna cry about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the doggies do need a channel. So those are my two, sweetheart. And okay, I will, cool. there you go. Okay, so next up, I have another pair of salt and pepper shakers. Um, they're just little nuggets. They are definitely a good little summer vibe. We have watermelon, sliced watermelon. Growing up in Arizona, I definitely love the memories of swimming in the pool in the summer at my grandma's and coming out of the pool. And she always had cold out of the fridge, sliced down watermelon. Yeah. And that's like, that's where it's at right there. Literally, it doesn't get better than that. So these little guys, they both have their original stoppers. They are stamped Japan. So they are older. Um, they sit like this, so you can kind of see some of the melon part and some of the inside part, which is also <laughs> melon. I don't know why I said it's the melon part. You can see the outside and the, and inside. the inside of the melons. <laughs> Good God, man. No chips, no cracks. These little guys are going to be four dollars as well just like the other shakers were because they're little guys they're two and a half inches long by one and three quarters high and give me number 74 if you would like those they are four dollars number 74 very summer i love the paint on them it is a cool green so that is my first item, $74 for $4 for the little shape. I bet they look so much prettier in person. They really, really are. Cause like these old hand painted things, like they have so much more dimension. Yeah. And, you know, it it's has hard like to pick up on the camera. The ombre. Yeah, like they're super cool. And like I said, I love that you could just kind of stick them in the front of a summer display if you have. Uh, Marianne, I ship from oh, thank you, Jamie. Jamie picked those up. Yay, Jamie. Marianne, I ship from Southern California, and Jody ships from Philadelphia. Oh, no, Pennsylvania, not No, Maine. Maine. No, I want to live, I wanna Bangor, live there. Bangor, yeah. Maine. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny is Marianne's one of my neighbors, so she totally knows oh. where I ship from. <laughs> She's like, that is directed She's at like, wait, did Jody I... move to Philly? Because I know she likes it there, but. <laughs> That's probably not. I swear to, oops, that was a, no problem there. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't just hear, but no, I um, I definitely, I definitely have to keep track of like where everybody is from. I'm pretty good now about most everyone. I know like who's on what coast for the most part. But, oh, it is. You know. It is not easy. It is so not easy to keep up with everyone's names and where they're from. And I, I have a little book. Not. I'm not even kidding, so that I can try to be good. <laughs> like, yeah. right. It's like, okay, well, and then for me, like when I do my pinup and burlesque, it's like, please don't ask me to remember two names because like, it's so hard. <laughs> oh, like of the other dancers, if they're like- Yeah, I'm just, I'm Rose just or something. bad at names and I don't like to be rude. So I'm like, can I just call you this? And then I know I'll remember the one name. <laughs> Lynn, so, I love the Jersey Shore. This, I mean, not, yeah. the show, not the show, not the show, the place. Not, you're yeah. like, just the actual real Jersey Shore. Yeah, right. <laughs> 
So the next item that I have up is this Tangiers by Narco Vaz. It is a lovely um, kind of a teal green with more of that bluer green mixed in with it. It is absolutely gorgeous. It has the Anarcho Japan sticker still on the bottom, great condition. Inside it is fully glazed with this caramel brown color. It looks like it never had a real plant in it, never had water in it. That is the natural glaze color. There are no chips, no cracks on it. I love this shape. I love those colors together. It kind of has a reminiscence of a Blue Mountain Pottery-esque yeah. type of a vibe. Um, it could definitely give a little bit of variation if you collect that. So I really thought this was cool. I did see um, some other, like, I don't know if they call these like a capsule collection because they had <laughs> other buy a narco items. And um, I didn't see any other Tangiers uh, for comparison when I did my quick search. But this item for the vase, it is six and three quarters inches high. It is four and a half inches wide. And it is going to be $18. Nice. And it is number 63 for the Tangiers by Anarcho Teal and Bluish Teal Vase with the caramel uh, brown glossy glaze inside. $18, number 63 for this. I thought it was a great piece. Hey, Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Picasso Cat. Hi, Kathy. Okay, so this is the last item for me until we go back to the next round. So eighteen dollars sixty-three. <laughs> That's beautiful. I'm tempted by that. Okay, yeah, so if you are it. new to getting here, you did not see that I broke something really sweet, and I'm. It was a three-piece coffee set. I broke one of the pieces. I'm gonna sell the sugar and creamer now without the. Um, the headless coffee holder. <laughs> so this is an owl set sugar creamer. This is obviously the creamer. They are not marked. I do not know who made them. Uh, they are clearly vintage, so I can be assured of that. Yes, Kathy. It was it was on screen, Kathy. It happened on screen. Well, kind of on the floor over here. And then this is the sugar. Whoops, let's not do that again. Okay. This is the sugar. And it's got the spot for the spoon. So is the head salvageable? No book. Shattered. Shattered. So these now are discounted. <laughs> if you want the headless owl to go with it, <laughs> I can do that for you to put your pens in. Um, but otherwise, I'll just keep it here with all my misfit toys. Um, hi, Catherine. Hi, Catherine. So, oh, I'm not turning this right. There we go. So, I love this sugar bowl. I just, I mean, creamers are creamers, but I never see, like, them like this with the, I don't know. I never really see the spoon spot. But anyway, so for those two together... It was going to be 20 with the big guy, but we're going to do $14 for A. Hey, Tree. Oh, one of my Hello. one of my dearest friends is here. Hi, Tree. I love you. And I, I guarantee you she loves headless things. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. If you know my Tree. Yeah. So, um, Those are so are, cute. They really are. Those are $14. so cute. I was so excited when I found the whole set. I was like, the whole set together? That never happens. And then I broke one. Yeah. Oh my God. No. So, oh, well. Anyway, that's my first one. My second one. That's one reason I feel lucky I'm on the carpet, at least. If something falls over, I have a little protection. Oh, yeah. No, you're right. A little, a little. <laughs> I found this bunny. I'm so glad Tree's here because Tree loves the strange. <laughs> and I found this bunny and it is, it has the strangest expression. Oh my goodness. <laughs> like Danny Darko, right? Totally. It's like, what is it? 
<laughs> like this is how oh, this is how it's let me put it on a book sometimes i have like no idea what the people that were sculpting and painting that were like thinking like oh this is so cute i know no this is not it's like cute. i love it for being weird but like yeah. it's also like <laughs> oh yes tree meat buck you guys would like each other i, think. I know i was gonna say <laughs> um oh yeah tree just i'll plug her and she'll be mad up mad about it but tree right? makes the most beautiful embroidery you've ever seen and she mm -hmm. makes it from um she starts with pieces of trash she finds on the ground she calls it road trash critters so oh, if you cool. go to road trash critters on instagram you will be so happy. So she starts with road trash and then embroiders all around it. And oh I have God. a couple of her pieces and I'll show them in a video. They are freaking phenomenal. She is she is one of the brilliant people. She and she has no idea. She so that anyway, cool. this creepy, creepy bunny was once part of a salt and pep pepper shaker set. I didn't care that they were all alone because they are creepy. And so they belong in somebody's um, creepy set of things. He scared so, off his partner. Yeah, yeah, or ate them. No. Yeah. Them. <laughs> Look at that mouth. <laughs> and the eyes, it's like. Rah, rah. Yeah, no, they ate their I partner. love it. I love so it. This is $5 <laughs> and it is F for $5. <laughs> and you're welcome, Tree. You deserve everything. Uh, Mad Hatter, yeah, right. This is the Mad Bunny. Yeah. It's rabid, probably. It is rabid. <laughs> it's a rabid rabbit. Um, You're like, this lovely rabid rabbit is going to be. <laughs> <laughs> and this headless owl. Yeah, right? <laughs> can be yours. Okay, so You're those were my two right. stars. <laughs> Okay, so to go with my nature themed, I have another brooch for you all. This one is beautiful. It is a big dragonfly. It has tiny little crystals for the wing design here. The green in the wings is enamel. The green down the body is enamel with crystals and this big area of green right here that is actually one of those jelly belly style um glass possibly beads and the eyes as well are like that you know so many things like jelly belly like what is that what is that even they call like if it's like a big clear like thing oh, there's tiki. people call that jelly bellies oh okay I'm, I'm trying to learn. Now, I don't know. I try to be careful with n not saying the wrong thing. But if I do, please correct me because, like, I do want to say the right thing when I'm showing stuff to you guys. I, I assume you're right. I don't, I don't know. These <laughs> you're like, I just, I just say, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, good. 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 Yeah. That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> So this um, dragonfly brooch is two and a quarter inches wide, one and three quarter inches tall. It's really, really striking, very bright green. So for this brooch, here is the back. It is unmarked. Oh, did you figure out what the mark was on the rose one? It know? looks like it says Cerrito. Okay. Or it I looks wonder, like it says Dorito to me. I wonder if anybody looked that up. Well, you know, like sometimes I'll look up things while I'm. Yeah, I should look it up. Um, by the look of this red one that I had, um, it does look old because it's that like matte enameled or colored uh metal and the back of the last petal is like still gold so it's just um like the actual flower that's like that but this one is um a newer brooch but it is really beautiful it is a good size brooch mm. and this the people one, love dragonflies i know i love the dragonflies so this is going to be twenty dollars for this brooch and it is number 61 $20, number 61. 
Aww. Okay, so I I think That's book so wants nice book. book wants me to send this to, to Debbie. Angelic Vintage Treasures, Debbie V. Okay, honey. I'll I'll take care of that. I'll I'll write you. So if you guys are interested in this brooch, it is $61 and it is $20. Nice. Then my second. Oh, thank you, Pat. Sar I'm sorry. Okay. Sarver. Yeah, Sarver. Yeah. Sarver. Okay. I said that. I correctly. said it wrong for. Um, I've said it wrong for a long time. I know. I was like, I don't want to say the wrong thing. Thank you so much, Pat. Let me write you down so I don't. Congratulations, Pat. Pat. Pat Congratulations. Is thank you. Have you Have you met Pat yet online? No, I don't know if I have met you, Pat. It's very nice to meet you. Oh, she's. She, she's your people. She's absolutely wonderful. Yay. I mean, everybody I here love, is our people. I love that it was like an insect, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was so cool. All right, Where guys. The, Next. Oh, oh sorry. sorry. No, go um, ahead. This is my second item. Uh, I did not get a chance yet to finish it off um, to be a finished pincushion like my others were, but it will be finished off with the stitching to give that tomato look. Um, being that it is not finished off yet, if somebody purchases this item, they could tell me if they want black or green stitching to finish off the pin cushion. So this is, I believe, a Majolica planter. The bottom numbering has an M, P, so I'm thinking that stands for Majolica pottery, and that might be mold 176. It is the cutest, cutest little elephant. Oh there are no chips or cracks. There is some light crazing on the actual planter, but not by much. The inside is very clean. Now, what I do with these, Gabby uh, bought two uh, pin cushions from my last sale. So what I do with these, I actually fill this up so tightly and I shove it in there. I don't actually glue in there. So if you really, really wanted, you could work that pincushion out and use it again as a planter if you like. So I'm not completely ruining <laughs> the item, but I feel like I'm giving it another life so that you can kind of use these beautiful items in your everyday life and not just have a huge collection of planters, which I also do have. <laughs> so for this- I love one, this one. I've seen your beauty. other ones and I love this. This is a cute little Majolica planter turned into a pink cushion. And again, like I said, it will be finished with the tomato-like stitches. And if somebody purchases it, please tell me if you want green to match this or black or brown to match the top. So for this cutie, um, the ones that are a name brand uh, planter, I sell for about the same price, which I did for my Shawnee. So this one is going to be $25 for this little cutie, and it is going to be number 67. $25, number 67 for this custom made pincushion. I love that so much. I'm so, so tempted. It's the cutest. And when I found the planter, like now I'm like looking out for planters that I could turn into these cute little pin cushions. And I've been yeah. wanting to do, um, so this is actually faux leopard fur um, that I made this into. So that's what the pin cushion is going to be for that guy. It is going to be a leopard jungle theme with the um, <laughs> with the elephant there. So $25 and number 67 for this guy. <laughs> and and sweetheart, I want to show you, um, I, didn't, I was trying not to interrupt you. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no. Pat would like you to send, she's going to send her info oh, for the Dragonfly. Oh, thank you. Yeah, and she wants it sent to Daniel. She and Daniel have a very special relationship. If oh. you ever get a chance to watch um, one of his friend mails uh, was from her i don't want to give it away i know a lot of people here have seen it um so i'm just gonna send you the link i don't want to give anything away. yes please oh that's so sweet yeah. of you to do pat thank you so pat much sent, pat sent him a very sweet um and personal collection of something 
and for a reason. And I would love for you to see it. And I don't want to give it away. So okay, I will um, definitely be watching that. I love that sentiment. That's really nice. And I'm writing it down right now. So I don't forget on the card. Oh, perfect. Is it my turn? Yeah. But I'm, I'm the host and I need you to tell me things. The, the pink cushion <laughs> was my second item. <laughs> I love that. Pin. If no one takes it, I'm going to be very tempted by that. Yeah, this one is like a super my style with the leopard. Well, it leopard. has a tiki look to it, too. It does have a tiki look. And yeah. I like that it's like a little Majolica planter. It's got the elephant. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, it's it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Um, There's some great chat going on. There's some friends. There's some I'm trying friends to catch up. I know. Oh, they're yeah. <laughs> That is so sweet. And Kat, I don't know if at the end we'll show what didn't sell. Because let's be frank, I haven't sold much at all. So um, it might be just that people can go back and watch and then email me. That's fine with me. Yeah. Um, Unless there's something you saw in a preview that you want to be sure. shown again or ask about. Otherwise, yep. I know yeah. I have my preview still up on my channel. And Jody might have a preview up for hers. And... I had it on Instagram, but not on, um, I saw yours and I shared yours on my Facebook, the video, but uh, a lot of times people will just go back and watch my lives and then they'll write to me about what they want that didn't sell. And today okay, awesome. is jackpot because I think I've sold two things. So Yeah. I've sold a few things so far, but, um, and I'm not yeah. sad about it. I love being here. I love, yeah. and, and I rather you do well. I want, really want you to do well. So, um, because you're a little bit newer to this than me, but not by that much. But this is my okay. second sale. Oh, uh, this is <laughs> my. Th see, this is only my fifth. But I do static That's sales awesome. too. So like videos of static sales. So I okay, like. So I, I, well, I found well, these quilt yep. squares that were definitely um, they were machine quilted, handmade by somebody local. I oh, found okay. these at my Catholic thrift store. There are two um, of them that are very, very well done that can be made into pillows or trivets. You know, they just need to be finished. I wish Michelle was here because she's a quilter and she would totally appreciate these. Um, and maybe others would too. I'm not suggesting otherwise, but these are really, really nice. So if you want to use these to, as a start for a project, um, they are $6 and it is O, 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 O. And if they don't sell, they're going to probably be made into pillows by me. <laughs> so, because <Nice. laughs> I know, like, like you, I don't buy what I, you know, uh, what I'm not willing to keep. So, yeah, um, I mean, some of this stuff may not be like exactly my style, but I never yes. buy something where I'm just like, oh, this is ugly, but somebody might want it. <laughs> no, never. I no, no, no. I, won't. <laughs> I can't do it. I just can't do I it. I can't do it. <laughs> okay. So, this one's really, really, this is really fun. These are, ne this is a nesting doll. So this is the, a dog. Oh my like God, how cute. Okay. And when I was there at um, the store buying these, it was a um, rainy day. So these were hard to like come off because everything, you know, would expands. Mm -hmm. But now, now they're, well, now I'm lying because they were much easier. Um, <laughs> so inside the dog is a cat. And you should have seen me at the store. I was like, I got to guess what's inside the next one. I was so excited. <laughs> so, so you've got the dog and then the cat inside the dog. Then, whoops. You've got another cat. Oh, or, that's wait a minute. Yeah, that's a cat. Yeah, it's got a cat's tail. Okay. I think, yeah. Okay. At this point, though, I'm like, okay, that's two cats. There better be a mouse somewhere in here. And then you get to another cat. So one dog, three cats. And I was like, guys, there better be a freaking mouse in here. And then look, there's a tiny, tiny little mouse. Oh my <laughs> God, it's got little cheese. Yes. And it's funny because <laughs> the ears look like eyes. I was about the, to say, I was like. The eyes are down here. The ears it's not like, like they, decoy ears, or it's like you think it's my eyes, but it's my yeah, ears. Yeah, I wish you, I wish you could see the little. I don't know if you can see the little eyes. Maybe. Oh my god, that is awesome. Yeah. So, 
mouse goes back into cat, which goes back into cat, which goes back into cat. This mouse does not stand a chance. <laughs> I know. Open, which goes into dog. <laughs> there. That so good. And that dog is licking its lips. Okay, so these are, <laughs> this set is $14 the letter H, $14 H. I think the first one is a cat too. Yeah, I think they're yeah. all cats and then a little mouse. <laughs> and I love how that, like that last cat, the big cat's like, mm, that all tasted good. <laughs> yeah, right. I ate all those. It's like a turducken where it's like layers. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah, get in my belly. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, okay. So I've got H for Lynn. Okay, Lynn, I got you for yeah, That was you. a popular one. Yeah, that was a popular one. Thank awesome. you guys. Thank you guys. Sorry for those who didn't didn't get to grab it. Thank you, Lynn. Um, Lynn, if I don't have your information, you can send it right to Studio 36. I feel like I do, but oh she just I think she said above that she put it in there. But anyway. Okay. Here's my girl's turn. Thank Hello. you. Guys. <laughs> Okay, so the next item I have is one of the planters that I bought in the Epic, Epic Estate sale. And this little girl is the made, I would say um, they generally attribute these, they just say California pottery. Um, yeah, I know you can tell the cat. <laughs> oh, one of the, okay, so I have an awesome lot of ceramic Hi, cats. Hi, Hi Yvonne. Yvonne. She's here. So I may have to come back on your channel and sell because like I have all these cool cat things that oh, let's do it. Yeah, I'll have to come back because like they're just all different sizes and they're all vintage and I have some cat prints that I can oh. offer. And I think people are showing up right now too. I probably I mean we did this at four o'clock main time, but one of the things uh I probably should have warned you about main or, or my time zone is that um, we, our summers are very short. <laughs> our sunshine is very short. So everybody, like today was a sunny day. So everybody was outside and now they're starting to come in for dinner and watch the show. So um, awesome. so we might, we might want to do it later in the day the next time, but that we'll see what people say too. I'm totally, anyway. Sundays, like I'm good, like all day. Sunday, unless I have something else planned. So whatever time is good for me. I just, I don't know. I'm just like, whatever. Like yeah. We should, I think we'll do it later in the day. We'll see what Let's people do that. Think. Okay. Yeah. That sounds good. Yeah. Okay. It might be New a little England, too early. <laughs> New England is like, we are not coming in yet. We have right? one month of summer. <laughs> like, <yeah. laughs> exactly. So this girl um is kind of a mauve pink in her details and a very kind of <laughs> tiki short <laughs> hush babe i did not know that was tiki i was like what <laughs> woman was just screaming <laughs> <laughs> um, they like I'm lucky that I'm right by the pool and like the gym and stuff like that. But now they open this side thing up, so it's the main area where people go by to get to the pool. Uh, now that it's like reopened, everybody's like in the pool. So he see, and he was like sleeping on my lap, and he just like heard a set. He's old as hell, but he could like hear a sound, and he is up. Yeah, he is up. Okay, so she has kind of a caramel brown hair, which I love. This little spot is not a, um, it is not a chip. It has glaze over the top of it. So I don't know if they did it as a style choice to kind of have like Ooh. a break in the hair or if it was just a accidentally missed spot. But again, it is not a chip. It is glossy. Oh, you can see how the gloss just continues on there. She has her little off the shoulder dress with a ruffle. Um, this little planter space is perfect for just a few little wildflowers, um, some sprigs of lavender, real or fake. She has a beautiful ruffled dress all the way around, no markings on the bottom, 
So a lot of times that is with the look of the face as well. They just say California pottery. Yeah. So again, this is from the Epic Estate sale that Jamie from Mid-Century Wasted and Gabrielle Lish, both ladies are here. We we did it, you guys. Oh, they killed it. Yeah, killed I have it. I have I have a bunch of stuff coming up um at the end of July in the Christmas of July. Christmas in July sale that I'm doing, and I'm also making some stuff, so I'm excited for that. Nice. Um, so this little girl is going to be twenty six dollars, and she is eight inches high by four and a quarter inches wide at her widest point, which is at her dress, and she is number sixty five. 26, number 65 for this beautiful California pottery, 1950s, most likely um, early 50s for this little cute girl. 65, number 26. I love her basket that you can put something in it. I love it too. And it's cool because it's not such a large area that if you just want to display her like a figurine, she looks beautiful as well, but I think a few sprigs of like a lavender or even really, baby's really... Breath. lavender would be good too, but I'm, even baby's breath. Baby's breath. I mean, if you're not a super floral person, even some sprigs of thyme or basil, mm. um, thyme would be beautiful in here and it would give off, or rosemary, it would give off a gorgeous scent. So that's another option too, if you're not really a flower person. Did you see Yvonne's trying to kill me? <laughs> she went to the beach she's at my favorite place in the world i know right <laughs> oh she's in ocean city yeah her face work. does kind of look like a little head vase doesn't she book she's cute oh, and she's yeah. got like a little side a side eye action going on okay it's my second item that <laughs> i temporarily misplaced is Ooh. a beautiful enamel green enamel i didn't see i don't know if this is enamel because this is that coating that's very like glossy and shiny it is an old piece um i saw it attributed to the 1950s um on etsy i saw a comparable item this is a gorgeous piece for um a little suit it's very versatile, being it's just the beautiful green um, leaves, kind of almost like an ivy leaf. It definitely can take you into any of your different seasons. I so, love the circle ones, too. Right? And this one listed online um, was listed for a decent price, I think, because of the age and the maker. So that's why it's slightly more than the last one that you guys saw. And it is um, a little older. So for this one, it is going to be $22. And it is number 62. $22, number 62. And that one is very versatile. Oops. <laughs> it's a good thing you have carpet. <laughs> right? This, this one went on the keyboard. I was like, hey. <laughs> 62, number 22, $22, number 62. And that's the last item for this round. Thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> Thank oh, you. Hi, Christy's here. Hi, Nancy Christy. Yes, it would be really, really pretty on St. Patrick's Day as well. Hi, Debbie. Debbie, did I see you come in? Did I say hi to Debbie yet? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, hi, Debbie. Hi, Annie Christy. Okay. So for my two, I'm going to start off with another book. Because I have, I might have one more book left. I'm not sure. So this is a Now You Can Read, The Gingerbread Man. I no. love the graphic on the front. <laughs> so um, this is from England, again, another British book. I found a ton of British books. Um, they're still in English, so, you know, easy peasy. <laughs> so um, the back shows you, like, how to say the words. Definitely, a, a, you know, learn how to read book. Look at the horse. Oh, my gosh. I love that. I, I just love children's, <laughs> vintage children's books so much. I don't see a date on this one, which I guess is why I didn't write it down. And for you dog lovers, this one looks like 
That could be a border collie. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, oh my! Your, your favorite book, Annie Christie. This was my son's favorite book growing up because he loves the trick played at the end, which I always thought was so sick and twisted. And my son is like, yeah, <laughs> eat him, eat him. So, uh, yeah, that's right before he gets eaten. <laughs> right Love that. Cover. And this is going to be $6 Q. It is in absolutely perfect condition. I, I can say nothing wrong with it. Oh, wait a minute. I think the back, the back has a date. It's 19, whoops, 1979. It was made by Cambridge University, but it was actually printed in Italy. So Q for $6 for gingerbread dude. And this next piece I just got and I didn't put, oops, it says I'm in low power mode. I better have my husband help me with that. While you do yours next, I'm going to run and get a power cord. Okay, great. Yeah. So um, this is, I think, I'm going to have to have Christina help me with this. Um, I, I mean, I would say this is a Tiki Mac, but I don't know. Whoa, that's crazy. It has, yeah, it has a crocodile or alligator on the front. I didn't do a haul of it because I just got it yesterday. He that is like really cool. He looks like he wants to kill your family. Totally. Yeah, or your livestock. Or he's going to protect you from the crocodile. I don't I, know. Is this yeah. like the spirit of protection in Florida? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so, this, um, what I'm, it has no mark on it. The back is very, very clean. I mean, I thought maybe it would say where it was purchased. but Yeah, or made or something. Nothing, not a thing. This was put on here by whoever, um, you know, hung it up. But this one, um, I'm asking $12 for it. Oh, it's a god. He protects. Yeah. Protects me from getting eaten. Yeah, that is really cool. Yeah, it's very, very cool. And I thought of you when I got it because you're my tiki girl, but I didn't know. I, I mean, I don't know who to attribute it to. But anyway, my name is getting in the way of looking at all of it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do remember, Tammy. I have all my Christmas stuff ready. And actually, this Wednesday, I had forgotten, and he's not watching right now that I know of. So I'm on with Toledo Antiques this Wednesday. So cool. it's a busy week. Yes. So this is L for $12. Yes, goes with the strange bunny. It does. Oh, my gosh. These two together. Yeah. <laughs> they will eat your family. Yes, yes. it is. Okay, and those are my two. I'm going to, um, it is awesome, Jamie. It is. I'm going to go get a power cord, honey. So you're in charge. All right. You're All in right. good hands. Listen to Miss Christina. <laughs> Be quiet. <everyone>. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So next up, we have this adorable cookie jar. It is a big old strawberry. This is in the 1950s House of Webster cookie jar. It is in perfect condition. No chips or cracks on the inside at all. The bottom is just plain glossy. It just has some sticker residue that I forgot was on there when I was going over all of my st sticker uh duty with with my uh, goo gone <laughs> so this is the bottom you can see there are no chips or cracks on it this is seven and a half inches high eight and a half inches wide i love that the strawberry kind of angles off it definitely has a nice organic shape to it it is awesome for summer it is great for all year round. I know there are people that love their strawberries. So for this strawberry cookie jar, easier for me to hold it here. The strawberry cookie jar is going to be $18. And it's the um, House of Webster, again, 1950s cookie jar. And it is going to be 70, uh, number 70 for $18. 
Number 70, $18 for the big glossy strawberry cookie jar. That is so okay. nice, honey. That is a good price. And yeah, yes, thank it really, you. really is. And yes, thank you, Jamie. I didn't realize you gave us a shout out. Thank you so much. And Lynn, yes, thank you. And Lynn wants that for. Thank for, you, Lynn. Yeah. You are going to absolutely love this. I love it. I can't keep all of them. Oh, I no. Have a very Wait. small kitchen. Congratulations, Lynn. That is a congratulations. Really nice thank you so much for purchasing that. And. I have my second item, which is also strawberry related. Now, this plate I thought was cool because it's all green. So um, I purchased it because, you know, if you are a strawberry collector, I'm sure you have a lot of red. So I thought this is cool to kind of have in a display. It breaks up all of the red that you have, but still has this super beautiful, I'm like, what? God, StreamYard is so strange, I swear. Oh, I know. <laughs> You're like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> So it has um, a cool kind of organic shape around the outside with the leaves. It has the embossed, strawberries in the middle this is a it said it looks like it says pontia espana it is made in spain here's all the markings on the back of the stamp it actually looks like this it looks like um kathy's saying that book sent her a direct message telling her about all the sales today Oh, is, you're amazing, Buck. Yeah, she does that for me, too. I absolutely love it. Oh, my so God. Danny, don't forget to watch. It is so weird. Today. I finally think I got it down, and then I'm like, ugh. <laughs> At the end, we'll have to let you guys know, because I have a Christmas in July sale. Jody's got sales. We got, like, all kinds of good stuff coming up that I'm super excited about. Okay, so back to my, my squirreling off into what I was doing before. <laughs> Um, book, I, I don't know how to make people mods anymore. I have to figure that out. I'm my my husband's not even a mod. I don't know anything about Spanish. How do you say strawberry in Spanish? Oh, here we go. Oh, I absolutely should, Kathy. I found two ways to say strawberry in Spanish. If fresa. You mean soft red fruit with a seed studded surface, you'd say fresa. If you mean soft red birthmark, marca de nacimiento. <laughs> No, Fresa. <laughs> so it's Fresa? Fresa. So for the Fresa plate. <laughs> I was trying to see if that was on the back. Thank but you, this, Lynn. I'll look after. Thank right? you. Right? <laughs> so this cool plate that was great for breaking up your strawberry displays. It is going to be $6, no chips, no cracks. The only thing it has is a small um, glaze inclusion that you see there that most likely happened during the firing process. So this plate is going to be $6, and it is number 69. $6, number 69, if you're interested in the green ceramic plate. 69, number 6. No, six dollars number sixty-nine. <laughs> you numbers know hard you, words numbers, words all of the numbers. Words. Oh look at Annie Christie said uh Trisha from Sandy and Auto let uh, Yay, the that's awesome. Yeah. Let's see, I just tried to drop Toledo in can you darling? Oh yeah, thank you, because I'll be on with him and his wife, I believe. I believe it's the both of them on Wednesday. So I was uh, really excited about that too. That's so but this cool. is my this is my most exciting sale because this is my new best friend. So yeah. <laughs> and I want to keep doing sales with her forever. Yes, so. we got things up our sleeves. Yes, and little talk show ideas and yes. all kinds of things. Stuff well, that I've... Oops. I put that way too far. Okay. 
Okay, so this is California pottery, and I only know that because it says it. <laughs> so, right? C A L. Oh, uh, yeah. Numbers. Okay, you're like, yeah, seen it, seen it all before. <laughs> um, yeah, California pottery. One thing you're very lucky to have here. For me. <laughs> yes. Oh, I love that. Um, who's the lady? Don't you? Who's the Carmen lady that Miranda. puts the food on her head? Yes, that's what this reminded me of. And the color yes. green. Oh my God. I love this it. Dish, yeah, it's to die for. I could still use cleaning up some of these uh, pieces here. I tried cleaning them before the show. I mean, there's nothing wrong with them. They just, just need a little bit more cleaning. Because I think this was used. Um, yeah, Carmen Miranda vibes for days. I love for it. For days. So what's funny is you all love this and you're all like, I love it. I love it. When I bought it in an antique store and brought it home, my family was like, what the hell is that? Like, what is wrong with you? And I'm like, look, <laughs> come on. It's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Look at the fruit. Yeah. So yeah, nothing wrong with it at all. And California pottery in Maine is not easy to find. I'm going to tell you right now. Yeah, I love that. So this is $12. I don't know if anyone needs to know any specifics on it. It's uh, no, again, no chips or cracks. It's about 11 inches, probably by four. Um, it is $12 and it is E for $12. Jody, are you going to miss David and this? Wait a minute. I don't know. I'm not, Tammy, I thought I was on with you Friday. Please tell me, Tammy, that I didn't screw up. Yeah, it is funny how spread around this stuff is. Yeah. I hope I didn't screw up because I think I'm on with, um, oh, book. Thank you, book. Yay, book. That is if book didn't buy it, I was going <laughs> to <laughs> You were like waiting, kind of like, I was like with the elephant, with the elephant planter. Who's yeah. buying it? <laughs> was that, that was my first one, right? Yes. Okay. I, um, I want to make sure that I didn't screw things up with Tammy. Jody, you are going to miss David and this Wednesday. Oh, maybe watching them because they are on every Wednesday. Vintage Uprising Texas. I love watching their live shows. It's a husband and wife team. And David is hilarious. And he's a good looking man, so I'm always flirting with him. <laughs> and Tammy's like, don't, don't put things in his head. Don't make him think he's good looking. <laughs> yeah. So, and she's gorgeous. She's absolutely gorgeous. So thank you, Buck. I hope you love that. Yes, you, know, you guys know I love awkward things. So here comes another awkward piece. Yes, they are a hoot. They are a hoot, Claudia. Okay, wait till you see. So I love things with weird faces. Here comes the creepiest swan you've ever met. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> like what in the hell is happening ah. here? <laughs> and what's funny is like I feel like this swan looks like Atlantic City. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> do you, like 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 there would be statues of this swan around Atlantic City. I'm not wrong, am I Yvonne? <laughs> so good. <laughs> yeah. So I bought this. I actually bought this in Jersey. I'm like, this is such a Jersey piece. Um it has <laughs> felt on the bottom, so uh, oh, and a name. I, that's right. I forgot. It, Brian either painted this or made this or did something with this. Brian claimed this in 1971. And it says okay. copyright. So I really don't know much about it. Oh, thank you, Ani Christie. I'm glad I wrapped them well. Awesome. Oh, skeleton swan. Okay. I see it. Like, look into your soul, swan. <laughs> so this swan is a little bit heavy. Hold on, let me just check. This swan is a pound, so it's got some weight to it. It is six dollars, and it is K. A swan with waddles. Yeah, you're right. That is odd. Yeah, maybe it's like a very regal, upstanding hen or chicken. That's like, I am oh, the queen of chickens. And I thought like you could put soap in it, but then the soap would fall out because it's. Um, you know, it's like this. Yeah, you could maybe do like roll like washcloths and kind of stack like three, oh. like two and then one. 
Hey, Jamie's calling it a rooster swan. I'm cool with that. It, yeah. A judgy or pretentious. This is pretentious. Like, yeah. I just love faces. Yeah. I love that. Judgy rooster swan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So thank you guys. That was my second one. I have three. I have three left, honey. I don't know how I did that, but or do I have four? Four. How many do you have? I pulled twenty-five things. I didn't know if oh, I should. Oh no, that's okay. Cause girl, that's okay. I if you want, them. I could just pick the last things that I want to try to sell, or I could quickly try the other one. No, people sorry. Are here. People are here. They seem to be having a good time. Um, oh, she's picking, she's picking on me. Yeah. <laughs> I know I will miss my sweet, sweet David and my gorgeous Tammy, but, um, or if okay, you want so like this, oh, go ahead. I'll pull, no, I, all around me is shit, honey. All around me. Oh, okay, good. Okay. Beautiful, fun shit to sell. Okay. Good. So yeah. So go ahead. So yeah, I pulled, I think it was 25 things or 24 things. One or the other. Okay, then I, I got so I'm, I'm almost done. Cause like. No, nobody bought, but I'll see if somebody, okay. So my next girl, let's see, where's my little board here? So this cute little girl, um, she is glossy, but she, the blue on her almost reminds me of like the China blue painted plates. She's oh, kind yeah. of that type of a blue, um, like especially- a yeah, like a Delft like blue, um, yeah. which is very, um, very easily seen in the way that her flower is painted on there. She has a pink flower in her hair. She has kind of a, what would you guys say, like a 70s vibe with the style of the dress that she's wearing. Oh my God, I almost dropped her. <laughs> and she has, I'm trying to hold this up because this sun is... Uh, like I mentioned earlier, I am now full in and I am buying a postage scale and a <laughs> light. <That's> so, <laughs> but I mean, I've seen some sales where like I could barely see anything. So I guess hopefully this isn't horrible. <laughs> no, I can see it. I'm so this more stuff is cute little bashful girl, she's got just a clean bottom. Um, she's, she's got, got a, a clean, clean bottom. She's got a clean she's bottom. Clean. bottom. So she's not stinky. <laughs> Just full class right here on this cell. <laughs> wow. Always. So this cute little girl is four and a half inches high. She's two and a half inches wide. She has no chips, no cracks anywhere on her brim of her hat, on her dress, or anything. She's so cute. And she does have some gold details to her in the dress, in the buttons, and in her skirt. And you can kind of get a good look at what I was talking about with the fact that she almost looks like a little china, um, a little china figurine versus a porcelain figurine, which I think like it accepts the paint a little different, but you you tell me if I'm wrong. <laughs> so you know more than I do. This little girl is going to be $6, and she is number 64, $6, number 64. Oh, yes, blue onion pattern vibes for sure. Um, her skirt is also kind of has some ribbing. She is really, really unique. When I saw her, I snagged her. She's got the cute little hair flip. Again, 64 for $6, so that's that girl right there. And my second item. My second item is another beautiful Mexican pottery piece. This is not an official Tanala piece like my uh, picture that I sold in my first sale. But this is another kind that I personally love and adore because it has um, a completely unglazed textured uh, finish. It almost has like a sand, not, not sandy, but you guys know what I'm talking about with the feel of this. And it has the raised glossy pattern on it. This is, is 
Okay. A beautiful bird. It has the flower. I love the design too, Auntie Christy. It's absolutely gorgeous. The way that the flower is painted is so elegant. The way that the bird is painted, so elegant. This is the back of the vase in case you have it displayed in an area that you could see the back. The inside is fully glazed all the way down so you can use it for water holding. The bottom is signed, but it looks like when they were signing it, um, they didn't put enough paint on the bottom there. So uh, some of the signature glaze uh, burnt, burnt off during the kiln like firing process. I, um, a lot of people do say that this is Tanala Lynn, but for me, unless I had a picture that I sold in my first live sale, it was signed Tanala and the artist. So for me, I don't like to say Tanala unless it is signed Tanala, but this is Mexican pottery. A lot of times they do attribute this to Tanala pottery. So this is no chips, no cracks in this item. Again, all of the areas that you see the design that is gloss. This is not, but it is glazed fully on the inside. This item is eight and a half inches high. It is four and three quarters inches wide. It's definitely um, kind of has like a medium weight to it. Not too bad. So this beautiful, beautiful piece is going to be $20 and it has the lovely, yes, yeah, very Tanala-esque. It's definitely, definitely Mexican pottery. It might even be true Tanala, but unless it says Tanala on it, I don't feel comfortable claiming that it's Tanala um, if you're a pure collector of Tanala. So this gorgeous item is going to be $20 and it is number 55. $20, number 55. It's beautiful. Um, you know, growing up in Arizona and Southern California, I do see a lot of this. But, you know, this is something. Thank you so much, Black Dog Vintage and Antiques. I got you for that item. But this style especially, like, this was one where I'm like, I don't have a lot of Mexican pottery in my home. But if this does not sell, which it did, thank right. you. I right. love having this because it's just gorgeous. It's gorgeous. You're going to love it. Hey, Lynn, we can sell you a lot then. We can sell Lynn. Oh, Lynn, <laughs> I got, bag, you want me to bag it up for you next time? <laughs> I'll give it to you for free, Lynn. Yeah. Now I have a gallon-sized bag of dust for you. <laughs> there might be some dog hair too. I won't charge you extra. <laughs> uh, I think, so I think Nikki and John, I, I'm assuming it to be Nikki right now, but I could be wrong. Um, that is a great deal. That twenty dollar pottery. That twenty dollars. It's wow. You, it's a beautiful piece. You're gonna absolutely love it. It is gorgeous. I'd have seen yeah. that at Goodwill for twenty dollars and bought it for twenty dollars. You know what I mean? Dude, you know? Goodwill. Goodwill is getting a little, a little, uh, little big, big for their, their bridges. bridges. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Where you're just like, um, am I at the antique mall or am right, I at exactly. Goodwill? Right. <laughs> all right that is my second item thank you again see i have to have you tell me when you're done because i literally sit here like this and i just watch you <laughs> <laughs> and then i'm like back to you in the studio <laughs> back to you in maine yeah okay so i grabbed a couple other things oh uh, just like my living room is my uh storefront if you will so um so I grabbed a couple of that right so now. I can, I can keep, um, I can get to 25. Hopefully the cat people are still here because I grabbed a cat thing. Um, this is a Lennox cat Ooh. in a pumpkin. Oh, I love it. Isn't it great? With a mouse in front. Oh. This, this is so, I love Lennox. It's I think it's so, so classy. Oops. <laughs> the dogs are doing their thing. So no chips or cracks, very sweet pastel orange, um, says Lennox on the bottom, and what else? American by design. Yeah, okay. And is that a date? 
No. Nope, just says Lennox again. So this sweet Lennox jack-o'-lantern kitty cat and is about this big. And I'm not going to get the ruler out because I think you guys don't really worry too much about that. But this is going to be $12. And it is the letter Z for $12. I just, um, on eBay, these go for much higher. But I like to do you know, good pricing here. So um, I am happy with $12 at the letter Z for the pumpkin kitty. Okay, then again. If, if nobody buys it, Z, 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 Z. Okay. That's me typing Z. <laughs> okay, Unless okay. somebody else wants it. <laughs> okay, so if no one grabs it, I'll put it for you, honey. And I bought something from you, so we'll just make some kind of an exchange or whatever. So, um, oh yeah, the the Angela Marksbury calendar. People are sharing that. That's good. Okay, so again with the strange. I love strange things. Um, this these are Aztec dominoes, Ooh. and I looked them up. I only found one comp. Everything is written in Spanish, so. I don't know anything about it. Um, yeah, they're Dominico Azteca. I'm not even gonna try to say the rest in Spanish, but the box is the coolest. Hi so, Jamie, thanks for coming. Oh, bye Jamie, love you girl. Thank I didn't even see where she was leaving. I think I'm behind on the, yeah, I must be way behind. Oh, she's way up there. Yeah, she's oh, up she probably you. Didn't hear us. Thank you. Um, so, so look at the domino, oops, so nice, I assume Aztec design, and then the numbers, oh. you know, the number of dots with the design there, they're wooden, they're, I love the presentation, the way they sit in here, mm -hmm. this is just stinking gorgeous, beautiful, clear, this is um, glass, Ooh, those are fancy. Yeah, this whole thing is really fancy. I think the last one, the last comp I saw was like $40 or something, and it wasn't in as good condition as this one. I believe so, it. Cool. Yeah, so I am only asking, and maybe this is ridiculous of me, but like I said, I want you guys to come back, and I want you to have <laughs> So $16 tea for $16. Yeah, it looks like a mustache. Yeah. Um, but just look how cool. Like Those it, are so cool. I wish you could see and feel the box. It just has a you really can nice tell it's all like handmade. Like it'll, you know. Yeah, it's nicely crafted. You can see how oh yeah crafted. And the bottom, like I don't know how they did it, but so cool. They did it nice. Okay. <laughs> did it real nice did it real nice guys did it real nice <laughs> so now i have some fabric i love to collect vintage fabric and this i is one of the ones i wanted to bite look at the colors oh my Ooh, god the blues that's and greens. So good. look at that green i love it oh. so it's two yards um so two yards by, I think it would be like 54 or yeah, 54 this way. And then two by two yards. So there's a lot of fabric here, as you can see. It's yeah. a heavier weight. It's not a canvas, but it's a heavier weighted cotton. Um, it says it's pre-shrunk. It has the, um, it has the name. It just says guaranteed washable colors, pre-shrunk. And then the name is all really tiny, tiny little letters. So I don't know what it's saying, but where did I put the, oh. Gabby was saying, oh. hold it closer to the screen. Oh, sure. For Gabby, I would move the world. <laughs> okay. That is so pretty. It's gorgeous. It, it is absolutely stunning. And, and I think it's going to actually make something, which is nice. Um, I think it's showing true to color too on the screen. Best I can tell. That like cobalt blue color. Yes. Is pretty. Like again, if it doesn't sell, I'm not going to be sad about it. 
because right? I, do, I do so, and I would I would make some lovely things out of this. Okay, oh, so it looks good. Like my cord's not doing so great. It says I have 10% left, but 10% lasts a while. So <laughs> I think I just need my husband to come bring me the good cord. But yeah, um, so cotton? That, is it upholstery fabric or blanket? It's not, it's, it's, I would say it's a little thinner than upholstery. It's like canvas, light canvas. Like I would make pillows out of this, mm -hmm. but I, and you could use it for furniture. You could. It's just not quite as thick. Um, Pillows, curtains, tote yes. bags. Yeah, two yards probably will only get you one curtain. One. Yeah, curtain or like bed. a little, like you could do like a little valance in a, yes. um, yep. a bathroom. I wish I sewed more. I know. I do so. I wish I, need I do so, and I wish like, I sewed more. Or like I could sell the fabric and then be like, and then if you want me to make something for <laughs> right, right. <laughs> that's it. Twelve dollars, and it's G. That's a so good that's six dollars a yard, which is really yeah. good for vintage fabric. That's good for modern fabric. Oh yeah, no, yes, dude. Uh, Sixteen dollars a yard now for good fabric. Yeah, I need so, to get back to LA. It's too expensive. Uh, All right, Gabby, Gabby took it. Know yeah. Do you know what's funny? That's funny, Gabby, because when I grabbed this to put in the sale today, I don't know why because I've never seen Gabby buy fabric. I thought Gabby's gonna love this and I don't know why. So. Gabby sews and. Um, I didn't know that. Yeah, she bought my, um, the two pink cushions that I had in the last sale. That was like this guy, but the oh. pink and the other one, yeah. And I might have seen that thinking she was getting him as gifts. I don't know, it didn't compute or it did. And that's why I thought she would like the fabric, but. I'm going to thank yeah. you, Gabby. I can't wait to see what you do with that. And then I'll want to buy it from you. You're going to love it. You're right. <laughs> yeah. But honey, I'm going to run upstairs and grab a different cord while you go next. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. You're in charge again. I'm in charge, you guys. All right. So the next item I have is four uranium glass block optic plates. This is one of them. And there are a few um, that have some light utensil um, scratching, very, very light, but it's mostly this one. And this one has a few as well. I think this, the smokiness is possibly something I can wash, but there are a little, little bit of but then there are two plates that are in perfect condition. They look brand new, especially this guy. There are no overall chips or cracks on any of the plates. And yes, they glow. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like these little black lights, sometimes you can actually see like the glow a little bit more than you can on some of the, with some of the bigger flashlights. Um, but you guys can see it actually does get a decent glow in it. Let's see if I can block out some of the light. If it, yeah, you can kind of see it a little bit better there. So these again are cool to kind of use. There are, Good size for hors d'oeuvre oh, plates. Working. They're good size for dessert plates. So these four block optic uranium glass plates in beautiful in. condition. Bring it back out. It's broken. I'm just going to use Isaac's. These plates, four plates, are going to be fourteen dollars and. They are there was as it's six and a half inches wide. So they're six and a half inch plates. And they are going to be fourteen dollars and it is number fifty-seven. Number fifty-seven, fourteen dollars for the four uranium glass block optic plates. So that is the first item that I have for my 
round. So That's your first, seconds, honey? This is the first one. So okay, I'm gonna uranium go, plates. I'm going to be doing weird things over here. Okay. Yeah. So the second item that I have is a book. So that'll take me a second to get through while you do your thing. Okay, thank you. So the second, oops, moving you around. The second item I have is this album of courses book. We figured it all out, honey. Yeah, you did it. We did it. So the cover is kind of, you know, breaking apart on this book. Um, but the thing that is really like the, <laughs> they don't even stay together, but I'm keeping it on in case you would like to use the front or the back cover for um, any kind of decoupage or things like that. But the actual cover of the book is printed like the uh, dust jacket. So you will get the same graphics and the book is in very good condition. A little bit of wear down there, a little bit of wear on the top, but overall in great condition. The illustrations are absolutely lovely. The It's a Rand McNally. It is 1951. Um, and this is a printing, it looks like um, 1964. So it goes through all of the different breeds of horses and it has um, a little bit about them with some beautiful illustrations to go along with it. So there are the full color illustrations and there are the black and whites along the side. So it you kind can, of. Goes. I think it might have been Pat who taught me. I feel like it was Pat who taught me. I, I you know, I'm always saying, oh, you could cut these out and frame them. And I, again, I think it was Pat who said, no, 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 photocopy them and frame yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. Scan them in, photocopy them. This one's really great. Yeah. Palomino, no, a very classic Western horse. So. The illustrations are gorgeous. If you're a horse person, I would say this is amazing for um, framing. I wonder if the niche lady buys a lot of horse stuff for her daughter. I wonder if she has that book. That's a beautiful book. Yeah, I love this book. When I got it, I was really, really impressed with um, the quality of the paintings inside of it. So um, the... Does the dragonfly brooch uh, glow? No, Pat, I don't believe it does. I can double check again, but I don't, I think it's too new to glow, but I will double check it. So the album of horses book from 1964, and I will include a dust jacket, even though it is slightly breaking apart, but I think it could be useful. It's going to be $12 for this beautiful book. Um, again, this does go media mail. It is 11 um, and a quarter inches high by nine and a quarter inches wide. It is going to be $12 and it's number 54. $12, number 54 for the Rand McNally album of horses from 1964. And that that's a really good, that's a good idea, Annie Christie. I never yeah. thought of putting them on an easel and just changing the pages every now and then for. Yeah, you can have it like on one of those, like, um, almost like, like a cookbook painting. easel. Yeah. yeah. It's beautiful to kind of have in there if you're a horse person. Um, lovely, lovely illustrations. So 54 for $12. And that's the last thing in this round. Thank you, sweetheart. Of course. I am. Um... I, I think Book is talking to me about how I knew that um, Gabby would like that fabric. And she's, I, first of all, I think Book, yes. thinks, I'm, I think Book thinks uh, more highly of me than I deserve. But, um, but yeah, it's, those things can be really funny where I was like, I was putting it aside and I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure Gra Gabby's going to grab this. And I, I never, I have not seen Gabby buy fabric. So I don't know where that came from. So anyway. <laughs> She you said, and, 
Gabby said she's going to put pom-poms around it and make it a tablecloth. That is so cool. Cute. I love that idea. So cool. <laughs> I okay. love that idea. So while I was upstairs trying to find the proper cord, I forgot that I had um, this um, <laughs> slightly X-rated. We'll call it R. <laughs> Rated R. <laughs> urinal I, to to sale. I just you can always count on me for weird <laughs> just, you, you can count on lilac for the pretty oh, things yes. lilac's always gonna have beautiful amazing things and i'm gonna have kill you in your sleep weird and also equated so this says gentlemen oh, stand, stand close it be shorter than you think <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Left yeah. field objects, that's right. So this <laughs> urinal even has a hole so you can hang it up like Love a urinal. It. Yeah. <laughs> and gentlemen, get a little closer because it may be shorter than you think. So um, I love this. Yeah, this is great. Are you snorting? I love that you're snorting. Did you just snort? <laughs> Possibly a little, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah, this this is great. So this I I, I made it letter X, X rated, and yep. it's six six dollars. <laughs> six dollars. You can poke fun at the men in your life, and so their good. length of their members. So oh, thank you, Black, Black Dog. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, sweetheart. Yes. You're gonna love that one. That is awesome. Yeah, I was like, why didn't I? I have that already in the sale. Okay, so that was number one. So we'll tone it down for number two. How many do you have left, babe? Two, three, four, five. Okay, I got this. I got this. Um, then I won't worry that I have one too many books in here. So I have a um, yeah, because I have a tiny little brooch, but that's my like fifth item. I'm super tempted to sell this brooch in front of me. Um, elephant bowl, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Did you see the elephant bowl? You saw that. Yes. Right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the best. So, <laughs> yeah, you can count on me. So, um, so I've got just like the um, gingerbread man. I've got the Rumple Stiltskin version, and again, made in England. No, printed in Italy, but made in England. And my son also loved Rumple Stiltskin growing up, but. The illustrations are amazing. And it's like these books were never opened. And this one also is 19, this one's 1980. I think the other one was 1979. So it shows you in the back how to say some of the words. That's cool. And look at the king. He's he's kind of hunky. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Blow your roll there. And he's a king, so. Yeah. So. There's that. <laughs> There's that. There's that. Um, oh, but he's scolding. He's a scolding king. I don't know if I like that. No, no. You shall spin straw into gold for me. Okay, so he's kind of a jerk. Oh, but look at how she's a hottie, too. Oh, my gosh. The two of them. Oh, yeah. This looks like a Harlequin romance novel. I know. That hair, though. I love it. Yeah. I'd, I'd frame that. Yeah, okay, Jenny so. says, how you doing, King? <laughs> <laughs> I say I, that. <laughs> I love this group so much. Okay. <laughs> the Queen, too. I'll take either of them, really. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, so this is $5 if you want the Hunky King and Queen uh, for R. R for $5. Lovely. Is that my second one, babe? Yes. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay, I have another brooch. I know I did a few brooches on this one, but that's okay. I, it went with the theme of the nature, whatever. <laughs> so this next brooch is very old. It is a dome kind of style and it's all beaded. And I didn't think they made beads smaller than seed beads, but these little beads are actually smaller than a seed bead. They're crazy Oh, my small. God. 
Oh, you're buffering a little bit. There we go. You're back. Okay. So there's that. Now here's the back. Um, you can see that it is kind of like hand stitched with fabric and the mechanism makes me feel like it might be 1930s um, because it's got that C-shaped. Oh, uh, Gabby's clasp. right. That would be pretty in someone's hair too. It would be gorgeous in the in like you could totally like on the side or in a scarf on your head. Yep. Yeah. Um, if I could get it out of my hair <laughs> now. <laughs> Sorry, this is no longer for sale because it's stuck in hair. <laughs> You got to cut it out of my head if you want. Right. <laughs> so, and it has that kind of like um, hinged latch. So this makes me feel like it is old. Again, like I said, possibly 30s or 40s. It is all different color seed beads. It's pretty true to color uh, showing up on screen. This item is one and three quarter inches wide. So you can kind of get a sense of what that will be like. Um, it's kind of a pink, a vanilla kind of color, um, teal blue, and a lovely cobalt blue. Mm. So this one is going to be $26 because of the age. And it is very, very unique. And it has all of this really pretty edging, um, no missing uh, beads or anything like that. And I would just say it is um, just anything. It's just aged. <laughs> so that's, it's that's going my favorite to be, one so far. Yeah, it's just aged. It's really beautiful. It's pretty old. It's the oldest one I've gotten um, in a long time. It is number 58 and it is $26 for that one. Beautiful spring summer brooch. So 55 for $26 for this guy. And my second item is going to be the McCoy mm. um, teapot and uh, open sugar, which I was extremely excited to find when I actually did find it myself. So the first one I will show you is the open sugar. And I'm pretty sure this was always an open sugar. Any of the reference photos that I have found um, do not have a lid. The way it is molded and painted makes me feel like it does not have a lid. A lot of times you could tell, um, you know, it'll be very smooth because they, they want to have as little you know, dents and, and things to kind of match up the lid as possible. So that's why I feel like with the way that this is made, I don't think that it was ever um, a right book. This is freaking amazing. It's Whenever like- Whenever someone says righteous, it reminds me of the turtle from Finding Nemo. Right, totally oh, righteous, man. Yeah. It has the old, the, uh, old school McCoy style, um, on the back now, this is the showstopper. Mm -hmm. This is the gorgeous teapot. So would that, because I'm still learning, would that be Art Deco? Now, this feels Deco to me, but um, it has been attributed to, let me see. Let me find my paper because the, what I've found, I haven't been able to find this exact teapot on my, um, on my Etsy, but it was saying that it is 1940s. Oh, okay. So, but I mean, to me, it does look very, very deco. Mm -hmm. And here is the bottom. I just McCoy. love the McCoy signature in and of itself is art. I know the design of the, the signature yeah. is amazing. This is what the inside looks like. It is very, very clean inside. No chips, no cracks. Yeah, I would say Deco and Nouveau, the style. Gabby's on it. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Gabby. Yeah, this is McCoy. So um, if you want. Yeah, Nouveau. Gabby, I didn't even think of that. 
Yeah, yeah me neither. If Gabby's looking, I could even um, move on to a second item. I don't know if there's going to be more than one person interested in this. If you'd like me to do it as an offer up, um, type in offer. Otherwise, I will just give it a set price and see if anyone would like to snag it for that. This is in absolutely perfect condition. This is the only flaw that I see in the entire piece. That Thank you, Gabby. Thanks, Gabby. That is literally the only flaw, this tiny little, I mean, would you call it a chip? I when yes. they're inside like that, I just I mean I'll I tell people about them, but they're so insignificant inside. So insignificant. Like I said, I mean you can see the spout is in perfect condition, mm -hmm. the um opening is in perfect condition, the whole thing is just absolutely gorgeous. I love this glazing because it has different shades, like up here it's a little more brown and then it goes to darker and lighter so it definitely has um that nouveau deco feel to it hi and christina hi kay so this item is just ugh, like i grabbed it i grabbed this the price is going to be for both i have seen um uh, creamers for this. I can imagine the creamers might be a little more rare because um, not a lot of people, not everyone takes their tea British style with uh, mm. milk or I know in Japan they do milk tea, which I enjoy. So there are a lot of people that just take their tea with sweetener. So I think it's slightly more common to find this set um, instead of the creamer as well. And this is definitely not a creamer. At first I thought it was, but I was like, I don't think there's a no, that would, for this. That would, there's no stuff to get the cream out of here. Right? You'd be like, yeah. <laughs> hey, well, let me give you a little <laughs> just that. So yeah, that's this guy. If you want, I can sell a show a quick like bro the little brooch um while Gabby's looking, if you want. I think that's a good idea. And I also think that um book is worried that you're going to ask too little for the tea set. I, she said something earlier that made me think she was a little worried about that. I know that even with what I'm offering for it, that online, it they're listed for at least double that. Yeah. But I would like to kind of, you know, um, offer it to you guys if you want it. Um, you know, I'd rather sell it to you guys and sell it in general. I'll still be making some money from it. Um, but if anybody wants it as an offer, that's also fine. Um, so let me just do this little quickie before while we're waiting. Oh, Gabby just. Listened. And I'll show what um, Ani Christie just said. Oh, Gabby's texting you. Okay. So, yeah, all this Christmas in July, which is funny, uh, Christy, because I'm doing a Christmas in July uh, with Christina and Tammy next week. And, uh, yeah, I'm already like over it, <laughs> even though I haven't started it. So, but I, I got all this fun Christmas stuff, but yeah, fall, I, I've got a, some fall stuff coming up and book is saying, please sell it online. We, we are unworthy. <laughs> <laughs> no, you are worthy. I love selling things for um, cheaper, or I, I don't like the word cheap, but lesser prices to this community than to put it on eBay. Yeah. Plus, don't forget, guys, when we put stuff on eBay, we have to pay 12% on both the item and the shipping fee. So that really cuts in, and I'd rather just sell it directly to friends. So Yes, and I know, um, yeah, so... Yeah, so Gabby says that this was never made with a lid. Um, it was always like this, so it's not missing anything. Perfect. Um, and she said that the set uh, with the creamer is listed for two hundred dollars um, for the for the with the creamer and the sugar and the teapot is listed for the three. For, for yeah. the three is listed for two hundred dollars. Um, I'm not 
ask like I'm not asking anywhere near that. Does it, I don't know if anybody would want. If there's any multiple people interested, I can do an offer up and start that like this. Or if you want, I can just um, do the set price. Well, why don't maybe we could have people type in interested if they are even interested in it. And yeah, if you're even interested, how many people um, don't, are interested? You know, don't feel bad. I would love to sell it to you guys. Um, it's a beautiful piece. Uh, if you want, I could sell this little brooch while we're waiting. <laughs> Yeah, oh, when, what's the year? Did Gabby find out the year, honey? Yeah, thank you, Gabby. I don't know. She didn't say the year, I don't think. Let me see. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Gabby. Yeah, but she was saying it sells She used for a about book, time. even. She used a book, not the internet. I know. It's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so this is a tiny little brooch. It has an amber-colored stone in the middle, and it has um, an open uh filigree design in the wings it's very very small it's only it's funny because us big breasted women have to wear big brooches we right, right, right. Wear little... like, burp. <laughs> where is it where is it are you wearing a brooch <laughs> or this is good as like a collection for a collection you'd have to collection have like brooches. six little ones on your right head. like you know <laughs> oh gosh, she looked. Look at where everywhere she looked. Yeah, it this, this set is pretty dang hard to find because I looked on Google Images, I looked on eBay, I looked on Etsy. <laughs> Book says thank you for yourself. <laughs> you don't have to sell it tonight. I know, but I put it in the thing. I don't want to. I, All I right, let's, let's sell this. this first. But no one said interested yet, so. I know. But oh, see, it hasn't sold since, since 2006. 2006. I'm going to call it. I'm. Everyone's telling you to sell it online, babe. Okay. Sell it online. I was going to ask $35 for it here. Oh, my God. I don't. No, no. No one's accepting it. No. Okay. No. All right, oh my so God, me, $35. $35. I don't Okay. So after I sell you this, all right. So hang on a second. If anybody <laughs> wants this little, I'm like a squirrel. I'll like just go off and forget. So this little brooch is only going to be $5. It's one and a quarter inches wide by one inch tall. And it is number 60. It has a lovely amber colored uh, marquee shaped stone in the middle. Look great for fall, autumn, and nice for a cluster. Again, it has um, this is actually cut through filigree. <laughs> Hashtag same lilac. Oh, Auntie Christie got that. Thank you, Auntie Christie. <laughs> <laughs> and and if I understand Nikki and John, like they know their antiques, they know their stuff. Yeah, so I um Okay, so you guys are really going to love the fact that I found that at the Goodwill. Oh, oh, wow. Goodwill has redeemed itself. I also, <laughs> but slash, this was my worst nightmare. They put two Goodwill stickers on it. And oh, they put gosh. all this crazy tape over it. So it was like, I was like with Goo Gone just... <laughs> oh my god butterfly nurse hello sweetheart Bye. Sorry you're not feeling good, but i'm glad your husband's taking care of you yes your husband's the nurse today okay so this what the heck number did i put on this thing i can't remember but can i gotta tell I gotta, oops sorry i've got to tell christina i've got to tell christina that some people are getting sick of this christmas in july sale so we have to bring it when we do ours on friday we have to bring it. Yes, hard. and then I'm doing Christmas All in July people. on the 28th of July with. Oh, so we, yeah. Yeah, with Jan no, from Antique yet. from Karen. But do you okay? Do you guys think because I was going to make some like fall Thanksgiving stuff towards Thanksgiving, but would you guys like to see a couple of fall <laughs> harvest type items now, or should I wait? um 
before like October, like September, October time. Not necessarily Halloween, because dude, if you guys want to know about <laughs> Christmas in July, I'm doing like Halloween in September, October for the rest. Like, I don't have space for extra teapots above my kitchen cabinets because it's all Halloween all the time. So I love me some Halloween. Yes, please, false is Lynn. Okay. Yes. So um, I do have a lot more stuff that I have in mind to make, um, but maybe I'll throw one piece into the Christmas fall in July sale. Um, with yeah, I'll ask what? Christina and Tammy yeah. if they want to do that too. Just just because we're at the you know tail getting to the tail end of Christmas in July. But the yeah, other thing, so. um, and Book is saying yes. So I want to tell you something fun about my community. My community is small, but it's like got that kind of like um, it's got kind of like a Colorado uh, boho like hipster vibe to my city too nice i like and, that um yeah but new englanders so we still you know we still talk trash and smack but anyway <laughs> um yeah also um, behind that <laughs> we have um halloween in april because you have christmas in july so our city does a halloween in april so that we have halloween twice so it's called halfway to halloween love and that it's a bar hopping thing. And I mean, you can drink or not drink, but Ooh. each bar has uh, costume contests and all kinds of stuff. It's a really big, it's been a really big deal up until COVID. So, so my city brings it. Yeah. Oh, I love, I love. So I have things I want to make for Halloween up my sleeve, but I'm also for Christmas in July, I have stuff from the, um, from the estate sale, but I'm gonna make a fair amount of things. Oh, oh, so, oh be found. Whoa, Deco. Oh, wait, she means that she means Etsy. Whoops. On Etsy. Ooh. All so right. Thank you. Part. Thank you guys for hashtag saving me from myself. <laughs> <laughs> yes, be sure. Oh, to yeah, that we do. Me. Dude, I follow YouTubers that just focus on Halloween decor and they start hunting now like I do like I start sweeping I'm the one that's buying in like September August the end of August September when they has like starting in August I'm already shopping for Halloween oh yeah no because uh, that's my all the time too? decor I forget their names and yes we're gonna get back to selling things Hi, yes. Linda. Welcome. I got two I got two more things left if unless that the other stuff oh I no, I have. I can. I can match you. Thing for well, things. I have two more things because I didn't do the McCoy pot. Oh, okay. Then I'll do two more things because I have a pile here for Daniel's show, and I was just gonna awesome. break into it if I needed to. Yeah, don't break but, into um, Daniel's pile. <laughs> um. Oh shoot, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, do you see those two young ladies? They've got to be in their twenties. I don't know if they're sisters, but they definitely live together, and they shop for Halloween all the time but they're mostly like they dumpster dive for halloween oh my god are you serious that sounds yeah crazy. I'll have to, they have they their channel is like i started off with them when they had like 200 people and now they've shot like they're way beyond being able to talk to their supporters anymore they're they're huge now i but, follow um, they, uh, midge munster okay she's pin up be like me but she like always um she always does like all Halloween stuff oh, and nice. she's the core hunting now. <laughs> and oh, I nice. think her name is Jane the Libra. Yes, yes, she, Melinda. Shiny bright doggo. They do yeah. Christmas, Halloween. They're young. They show me everything that's like if you were born in the 90s, like what your what your generation's looking for. They're oh, really good. Love it. Yeah. And she lo oh, uh, Catherine even, loves like, Mitch Munster too. Oh, I love Midge Monster. And she just got a chance to quit her job at the theater and do full time. Yep, I decorate all year round too. Yeah, like this stuff. Uh oh, what is this? Oh no. Did you break something like me? I could glue it back though, I think. One of the flowers on that branch thing fell off. 
Uh, who bought it? Did someone buy it? Nobody bought it. But the thing that's weird is like literally the entire flower came off intact. Uh, you'll never notice if you glue that so on. So I'll just glue it back on. Yeah. And it came right from right there, but like it literally just popped off. That's strange. I'm telling you, somebody got to buy this. This thing's like Teflon. <laughs> How the hell? Not one petal broke off of this thing this whole time. It's trying to and destroy itself that, now. Like it's the whole self-loathing now. That's so funny. It literally just like popped off of there. Can somebody <laughs> um, book? We can't do it while we're on, but I'm wondering if someone else can drop their info. So, um, oh, you have to be a mod. Darn it. Who's in here? Do you have any mod? mods? I do, but I don't think they're in here. Unless unless I made, see in the very beginning, I made like five people my mods with, and then I- I'm not even a mod and I'm on this shoot. Are you, wait, you're my mod? No. Oh, no. I was joking, I was like, I'm not even a mod. Don't no, just kidding. No, my husband's not even a mod. Cause I couldn't figure out how to do it a second time. So, um, is Auntie Chrissy asking how much this little bird is? Yeah, I think so. Um, let's see. Book, I'll put the info. I'll put. I'll put the info after we uh, close down the sale. Put it in the description after. And then I'm gonna try to make every like. Definitely, book needs to be a mod. Yeah. Uh, Yvonne is a mod, but I don't see her on here. And Michelle, Emancipation, Michelle is. A mod, I know that. So originally, Auntie Christy, this was um, 18, but because the little flower popped off, I could do it for 15, and then I'll glue the little flower back on. Um, but other than that, there's not one petal chipped off or anything like that. So it's in perfect condition, and as soon as I glue that flower back on, um, it's going to be fine. Not even a petal snapped off of that. It just kind of fell off for some reason. Yeah, um, like coral. It just kind of right? off like coral. So yeah. um, it's 66. If you're interested, Auntie Christy. Um, oh, thank you. Okay, so I'll do it for 15. And I will wrap that up for you and send it to California. And I'm in <laughs> California, so it works out well. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Thank you. That was for something else. And um, yes, uh, Melinda, the, their motto, the young ladies I was talking about, shiny, bright doggo, their motto is no pumpkin left behind. And oh God, uh, I love it. it's really funny. They're, they're very, what's the phrase I want to say? They're very um, non-pretentious, like, I mean, like the total opposite of non -pre They're just so real and funny and- I, I love that. Yeah, they ju they're not playing up for the camera. They're just doing their thing and they're they're great. So I got to and I've got to find um the Munster lady. Yeah, Midge Munster oh, and, Catherine, and then Catherine knew who they were too. I'm sorry. Yeah. Catherine, I didn't see that. Um missing, and then, uh, uh Jane, I think her name's like June June the yeah. Libra or Jade Jade. No. Jade the Libra and she also does like only Halloween decor stuff. Oh, so, so she's born in October too. If she's a Libra, probably. Probably, yeah. Oh my gosh, my my burlesque, my burlesque mama, um, Kitten Deville. She was born on Halloween, so like oh. I'm so jealous of her. But like she always does Halloween stuff, so I'm. She was meant to be my my burlesque mom. Oh yeah, <laughs> I love that burlesque ladies have a burlesque mama. That's great. Yeah, it's like drag. Like they're the ones that kind of teach. They're kind of take you as a baby, and they help you. Not everybody does, but I call her my burlesque mama because she. I love it. Um, I need. I'm gonna go back and see that Catherine that they left a pumpkin behind. Oh my god, god, that's so funny. <laughs> that's so All right, I guess I'll show two more things then, honey. I mean, we can chat after yeah. too. And then I only have two more things to sell, unless anybody wants quick recaps of the non-selling items. Yeah, I can show. I mean, I can show some of the better things that. Yeah, I can show my highlights if you like. Yeah, yeah, because there are more people here and um, okay. different people here. And yes, Annie Christie, down to earth is the right way to say it. Um, okay, so I, I, this isn't anywhere near the McCoy planter whatsoever. 
but this was one of those things that I probably should put on eBay, but it, it I just don't want to. <laughs> I just I want to sell it to a friend. This is freaking gorgeous. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. So it's a wine decanter. I've I've done a lot of research on this. And I've posted it on Facebook sites to get ideas because it blows my mind that it's hand blown glass with the pontal, okay? Um, not a smooth pontal. I'm gonna but, be right back. Keep keep selling that beautiful, beautiful decanter. Yeah, and then and well, the leather, this is leather, and it is stitched right to the glass. Like this blows my it just blows my mind so like this is all stitched onto the glass the stopper or top yeah stopper has leather on the top it still has wine like it smells like a little more vinegary not really it smells really good it's like wood and wine it's um it has no markings like maker's marks and things like that but it's a little dusty because I've been displaying it. But um, that's funny. If you subscribe to many more channels, you'll never sleep. I know. Like Chianti, is that what it's, is that what it's called? Um, I know that there are some that have like where you can put the ice in it. But this one, it tells me this one's older than it doesn't have it. Again, this is just my research but i i don't know but look at the the stopper for here and this is not a wine flask see some people were trying to tell me that and i know for sure it's not like they have a certain kind of flask they use where they drink right out of that's not what this is so it's definitely a decanter it looks very piratey um <clears throat> let's see it is it's 10 inches tall. Probably the bottom is about seven inches wide. So this, let me tell you how much it weighs. Oh, I can't because my husband unplugged that whole thing. I mean, I'm going to say probably a pound and a half to two pounds. So I will bubble wrap the heck out of this, but it's probably going to cost, you know, a little... I was just going to say pirates. Yeah. It's probably um, going to cost a little bit to ship because I'm going to bubble wrap the absolute hell out of it. And you don't see these, like, I'm not, I'm not trying to do sales pitches, but I, the re reason why it was so hard to find comps and stuff is it's just very hard to find any that look like this. I've seen a lot of, again, the ones you can drink out of, but the flasks. So I'm selling it cheap and no book. <laughs> she, book's already <laughs> saved. Like, eBay, eBay. Hashtag save Jody. <laughs> hashtag save Jody. No, I want this to go to a good home. I want this to be so loved. I I wanted to keep it, but um, I really don't have a need to do so. When you get it, if you if someone wants it and they sniff this, just think of me. It smells like it smells like a ship. It's, yes, I've been on old ships. It smells like an old ship and grapes. It is so amazing. When so, and I, I understand it here. Gabby's saying eBay. I know. I don't want to. I don't want to, you guys. Fine. I'm going to put up a price for it. And if you want me to put it on eBay, then no one buys it. Okay? That's <laughs> how I'll do it. There, that's how we're going to do it. That's how we're going to do it. So, $28. I don't want to hear it. $28 N, N for 28. Swashbuckling decanter, never heard of that. I love you, Gabby. I'm not, I hope I'm not being crabby. I don't want to be crabby. <laughs> I, I just really, I just really want, I like some things I just don't, I, it's too impersonal to sell on eBay. Uh oh, what'd she say? Oh my God, too. Oh, probably the price. Then buy it, Gabby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know what the jokes. Oh, Lynn wants oh. it. So Lynn is getting. Lynn. And Lynn, it might cost a bit more to ship. That's the other thing. Is that's why I wasn't 
you know, I got a really good price on it, so I'm not worried about. Um, and this that was a goodwill find too, Christina. It's crazy. Like sometimes you're just like, wait, why did somebody give this away? Right. Thank yes, you. Wait. Wait. Yes, congratulations, oh, Lynn. Yes. I'm sorry, my dogs are. They're now playing again. Do you see the cat asleep on that chair this entire? Yes. Time? Oh my god, he's so lazy. <laughs> so um. Okay, she's not worried about the shipping. Good. Awesome. I mean, because it all comes like like out in. Okay, so I think my last item, right, Christina? Yeah. And then you have two? Okay. Two. So this is a totem. Jody, did you get the... Astrid. I have a tail growing out of my arm. Did you <laughs> get the AstraZeneca? Oh! <laughs> I get it. Yeah. All, all over here. I'm like, wait, wait, is my tattoo looking weird? Okay. So this totem was made in British Columbia. I want to say it like, um, uh, oh my gosh, what is her name? Christina. I want to say it like Christina does. Um, in British Columbia, can you do it? How she Me? says Canada. Yeah. Oh, like it's, Canada, like can, can, I. Canada. No, gonna sound it's right. funny because like I have I work with a guy who is Canadian that actually got like American citizenship while oh, while he was working there. But yeah, sometimes I got a joke with him. I can hear her saying it, and it's so but she much doesn't say a though. There's some people that say a a lot, <laughs> and I, I always get a kick out of that. I love the way she says Canada. It's like much softer than we do. But, um, I'm also the worst person in the entire world to ask to do any type of accent. I can't fake uh, an accent. If I got an accent, it's my accent. <laughs> hey, watch as I do this accent, and then it sounds just like Christina. Yeah, I'm like, so, oh, this is uh, Russian. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this is Victoria, British Columbia, if you can see that. It's in absolutely perfect condition. And the reason that I know that it's vintage is because it came in the original box. Oh, cool. Which will give you a better look. And Ooh. the box says um, B-O-M-A, BOMA. And then it has, I want to say those are some letters after it, but um, how much I want to before toilet run. Oh, okay, okay. She's like... Give me the price. I got in the bathroom. Tell me. Okay. So six six dollars. So six dollars for why? Why six dollars? <laughs> okay. She made me brush on that. That's good. Keep me on my toes. And we'll see what we'll see if she wants it. I love or, that. It does remind me of the Pacific Northwest too. Yeah, totally. Well, wait, British Columbia, is that? Okay, but, if, oh, shoot. Okay, well, not shoot. So someone got it ahead of you. I got, all right, so Christina said $6, eh? <laughs> I'm, assuming, <laughs> I'm assuming Christina doesn't want it. Mary, Mary Ann said me, please, which I guess I can take as putting in why. So I think um, Mary Ann gets it. But Black Dog said to give it to Butterfly. So what would you do here? That's okay. God's will. It's hard because it's like, it's easier to just say, okay, like the first person with typing in the correct thing. But I know sometimes it's easier. Marianne, were you trying to bid on it? Yeah, that's a great question. So, um... Uh, it's funny because, oh, yeah, Ani Christie says they need to use the letter. Yeah. Which, yeah, I know a lot of places, um, a lot of people make it so you have to use the letter. Like, it, that's the rules. So Yeah, I don't so like let's say a anyone. number or a letter that we put it in. And I know that that's kind of a um, pretty standard across the board. So I know a lot of people kind of try to keep to that. So it's I not... want to I want to keep to what every what everyone else does. I want to stay consistent. So um, <laughs> I shouldn't be toilet shopping. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Oh my gosh. Okay. So oh my God. Mary Beth, because I, I mean, Mary Ann, because I need to stick to the rules. The next person in line, uh, or I mean the first person who did put in Y was Nikki at Black Dog. So Nikki, do you want it, honey? Oh, and she's saying it, Mary Ann can have it. Okay. You guys are amazing. So thank you so much. Um, Mary Ann, um, I mean, yeah, Marianne. Oh, you're like favorite. all saying each other can have it. That's so I nice. Know. Everybody's like, okay. So Marianne, you get this for six dollars. And her li her sister lives in BC. Yes, which I didn't know cool. that. About. So, and Marianne, I have stuff on the porch for you right now, actually. Yay. Um, okay, so we'll go back to you, my sweetheart. All right. Thank you, I, all. Thank you all. Thank you for being yes, so cool. Congratulations. That was so nice of all you guys. Everybody's so cool in this community. And you know what? She's right. Look, mistakes happen. Yeah. 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 Well, and now, now you know. So in the future, Marianne, especially if you're in, I, I'm not sure. I feel like I kind of recognize your name, but I think you've seen her in uh, my last live sale. Okay, because I was gonna say like, if especially other sales, they're a lot more strict on Ooh. it. So. Um, if it's a number or a letter, they usually, and then even sometimes if they say like 54 and somebody actually puts in 63 on accident, they'll take the first correct number yeah. or a letter. So even if you transpose the numbers, yeah, yeah. if it's 54 and you put in 45. You can see sometimes yeah. people like frantically and then they retype it again yeah. really fast, like, ah! <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, I get understand. it. I understand. Yeah, I've done it too. Well, and it's easier, like, I could usually win more often if you roll the dice on my regular computer at work because I have like 10 keys, so I could just type it in fast. So from 10 plus years in retail, I'm good at 10 keys. Right, so I, right. Um, if it's a laptop or like my phone, I'm like beep, beep, send. So that's like enough <laughs> time that like somebody else that ha might have it like on a computer. She said Yay. she understands, she was excited. She was like, awesome. me, 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 me. Okay. I just want to make sure that you know, just because like sometimes it's a bummer. Like I've lost out on stuff. And I'm like, no, I, I meant to say it the right way. Or if it's two digits and you put in like it's 63 and you type in six I, to turn oh, really fast. I'm like, happy that you're put in the three. <laughs> and I'm happy that you're saying that you're doing letters and I'm doing numbers ahead. Cause sometimes people do like a like a curveball, and they're like, "Dang it, I had my numbers up on my phone." <laughs> oh, right, right, that's true. So this next uh, piece that I have is really unique. It is I don't know what if you would call this like a Turkish design. It is a metal metal plate, a decorative plate. It does have the hanger on there. It is a blue and red enameled design on the gold. It does have a peacock on there. That's what I've been wondering, if that was a peacock. I love it. Yeah, it has a peacock, a beautiful peacock in the center with flowers surrounding it. Okay, yes, India looking. Yeah, my husband's um, Turkish and they, our decor, our Turkish decor doesn't look like that. I think Christy's right. It's a little more, more like India. Yeah, okay. that um, I'm not as it's a little harder for me to place. You can't you can't be a, a pro at everything, I guess. Like I'm a little <laughs> better with like the islands to kind of pick that a little bit. But for me, sometimes I'm just like once it's um, like Asian and Middle Eastern countries, certain ones, it's hard for me to figure oh, out. Yeah. Like somebody yeah. told me Moroccan. Hi, Tanya, like, welcome, Tanya. If you just got here, I haven't seen you. Hi, yes, thank you. And hello, Tanya. <laughs> so this plate, this decorative plate is, oh, I moved it all around when I was telling my, okay. It's 11 and a half inches wide. It is metal. Again, like I said, there is no, there is no, that's not correct English. <laughs> there there, there are, are no, no uh, <laughs> dents in the metal at all. It does have some age to it. This is a cool addition to a gallery wall. You can have it propped up behind something. I love the peacock design. It's very gypsy, very uh, boho again, like that style. 
and it is only six dollars oh wow six dollars for this little baby and it is 52. six dollars 52 for the peacock plate and that's purple right the purple peacock? um no it's actually royal blue and red and then the peacock feathers here are kind of a teal color okay looks so like black you, dog goddess. it could look like oh thank you black dog you're gonna enjoy this it's a beautiful piece i love a peacock too i don't know if you guys have uh well i bought a um it is from thrift you but i bought a long time ago the first time i ever watched their um sale they had a peacock chenille blanket that oh. i i paid for her oh my gosh oh. yeah their, price, her. their prices are re retail for sure but they have some amazing well, stuff and it was an offer up um so i went i went there she was too i paid 200 dollars for it oh my but, gracious yeah yes but it's, um it's it'll what size it was it queen so it looks like i could fit it on a queen no problem it might have been maybe for a double um but i don't necessarily have to have my especially like a chenille it doesn't have to touch the floor no but it's like a, yeah. a lime green sherbet color the entire chenille is like a green color and then it has the giant peacock in the center and then two small peacocks where the um the pillows are and the coloring and the subject matter makes me feel like it's a one of the older original like chenilles oh. versus when they started producing them in the factories a lot of the newer ones um i think a lot of the all over patterns that were more that was a later um a later chenille and also i believe you could tell by like the pile like the thickness of the chenille if it's older or newer um, like if it was a hand, a hand done chenille, uh, or if it was a machine applied design. Oh, right. So right. I got it. one of the, I know, and it's funny cause I was telling my friend and they were like, oh, cool. Cause I was like, I really want to do a video about the history of chenille and, you know, because like, you know, in the thirties they had Peacock Row, which was an area, um, in I want to say the Midwest where they called it Peacock Road because peacocks were one of the most famous or popular subject matters for the chenilles like back in I want to say it was like oh, in the yeah. so that's why they called it Peacock Road because they would all be hanging outside so um yeah love me a good peacock <laughs> <laughs> my, my I, I have to show really quick go these for idiots. it look at these idiots again oh. doing their own doing their own show over here oh i love it it's like now okay. now for our show I, you got like all the i love it it's like miss doolittle you're like got all your animals <laughs> i have three dogs and three cats so. it's perfect <laughs> and, I, and there are three people i am so into the number three it's it's bizarre actually I, have two. I like i like threes for sure yeah i think three is an awesome friend number it's like yeah it's an awesome group number three people in a family no one's ganging up on anyone it's mm -hmm. i just like three so, yeah i think christina is right i think so a lot of those um christina taylor is right about christina lilac um that if you do some of these shows about uh, the history of things, people love that stuff. So it yeah. would, and it would be a really good boost. <laughs> yeah. Jody does little is probably what she meant. Christina. <laughs> 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 my husband, my husband would love that if he was here. <laughs> so good. So, uh, yeah, if I think you should do stuff like that, do what you know. So share what yeah, you know. I, I definitely, um, yeah, and I know we talked about, like, I have a really big, big passion to speak about um, African-American collectibles, Black Americana, mm -hmm. and um, kind of going into that, uh, it won't be, you know, 
accusatory or anything, but I never uh, mind being the uh, person that sometimes has to open up that conversation to people. I know there is a big market for the collectibles, but I actually found a man, um, actually, believe it or not, out in the desert even further than I am. Uh, and he is he is a African-American man. He has the largest collection of, um, I would say, memorabilia and history because he even has some of the history that none of us want to collect. Um, but he's an amazing source. He is on uh, YouTube as well. And once I get down uh, further into the rabbit hole, I'd love to have Jody. I'd love to also have some of our other community members weigh in. I have some people in mind. Um, from sellers to buyers and different generations and areas. So I'm excited to do that. And I'll say this to share, um, and I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. Um, that's one of the things that Christina and I want to talk about. Um, and, and we're not quite done our sale yet, but I do love that she's mentioned this. Um, I have Sorry. found a place that you can donate them to. Because a lot of these things, Jim Crow era stuff, um, although they are collectible and they can uh, bring in money, should they, is is what is where Christina and I are at. Um, my yeah. son is black. My son is not African American because he's from Haiti, and so he doesn't have the history of American slavery. But when he walks into a house. And he sees things that, yes, thank you, Brooke. Yeah. And he sees things that are very unwelcoming about uh, his color, because that's basically what it is. People aren't people aren't differentiating my son between African American and Haitian American. They're they're just seeing black boy. And so, uh, Christina and I are passionate. I think I can say this about those things not being sold, those things not continuing on in the white community. Um, if black people want to collect them so that they don't feel gaslighted by their history um, or that their history is being whitewashed, then Christina and yeah. I have talked a lot about, um, about, oh, thank you, Claudia. Um, we've talked a lot about yeah. that, you know, that being okay. The thing is to ask people who are black, people who are African-American, people who are Haitian-American, people, whatever, to ask them what, how they feel about the, the sale of these items and you're going to find that you know if they're racist racist items first why do you want them second right. why do you want to sell them why do you want to continue that on so we have found places that don't uh you can donate these items to they are jim crow era one of them i think i hope i hope i sent it to christina um is jim yeah i'm sure it yeah, it your, does too. yeah. Yeah, it upset. It made me cry during a live sale um, that I will not mention where. But I burst into tears. It just felt so wrong, and the people who were buying the stuff, the things they were saying in the chat, was the worst. And so yeah. I knew why they were buying it. I'm not going to buy Nazi memorabilia any more than I'm going to buy slavery member or Jim Crow memorabilia. It's just yeah. as gross. It's just as gross. Yeah. But I say this with all the love in my heart, truly. I was at Goodwill, um, and me, should I come to me for a second so they know who was yeah. talking? Um, I was at Goodwill, and I found a piece of racist memorabilia. It was um, a shot glass where the black people's features were excessively exaggerated to look like animals. And I literally bought it brought it home. I'm not even going to tell you how long ago it was because it's embarrassing. Showed it to my son as like, can you believe this shit? And then said, I wonder how much I'll get for it. And my son's mouth dropped and he's like, did you just hear what you said? So I, I made a bad, poor decision. And so I'm not here. Like Christina says, we're not here yeah. to be accusatory at all. We're here to say, we learned to do better by listening to our black, the black community. And we, we want to help others do better. Cause maybe they're just yeah. not noticing. Maybe they just don't get it. I yeah. didn't get it. 
until my son was like, did you just see what, what? so you make $30 on it. Does that feel good, mom? Like you're passing yeah. it on. Why would you do that? So I'm donating it. So um, anyway. Yeah, it's it's definitely, That's and there, there are things that I've seen um, in sales that have shocked me. Uh, um, Sambo stuff that I'm sorry, but is extremely, uh, <laughs> extremely horrible. But I actually, the crazy thing was, oh, you can see my heady shoe couple of the corner. <laughs> oh, I can't yeah. see it. Yeah, those are, I, I'll show, I think book's going to probably be like, oh, but anyway, <laughs> back to the, um, it, when I was in Arizona, I went to an antique mall called Brass Armadillo. I just got back last week. I was all last week. I was in Arizona. Um, and yes, that was the first time that I had gone to an, it because I lived in, you know, in Arizona, all that, but I wasn't huge into antiques. Then I recently got into the antiques because for a long time I was doing, I was competing in pinup pageants and things like that. So I had to spend a lot of money on buying vintage uh, clothing and accessories and making clothing. So I'm only recently now that I've accomplished, uh, you know, good things in the pinup community. Um, now I can actually buy some housewares. So Yay. it was the first time I went there and I was shocked with the amount of like crazy racist stuff but i mean there was also some other weird things but like i like you know the stuff that i had seen before was nothing like some of this stuff um so yeah. it's just you know and it's just something that and sometimes people there are varying levels of um insensitivity to pure you know, things that are purely created out of like hatred, et cetera. Yeah. And there are things that are just maybe more insensitive de yeah. depicting, you know, certain types of clothing that they would wear, um, you know, in the more service industry, things like that. So it varies, but we could get back to the sale. That is something <laughs> else. I, sorry, I went off on that tangent, but I am passionate about it. Um, there's a lot of, Anything fringe, I'm always like behind my burlesque group that I'm a part of is highlights marginalized performers, mm -hmm. plus size people, people of color, uh, queer performers, things like that. My pinup community also does a lot of that, plus size women, um, women of all different sexual orientations, relationship backgrounds. We have poly uh, polyamorous members no judgment. So I'm about that across the board. Again, I'm sorry. I am not, I'll do it politely. I'll do it, you know, smartly, but I, I don't have a problem with being the first person to say, Hey, let's talk about this. So that's well, it. well, and that's why yes, I'm unethically sourced items. Um, that's why well. I um, sent you the email that I did and said, you're my new best friend. And here's why. And because I could see that we were so similar in our passions for these things. And um, so I, I love that we're gonna talk about it. I think books, right? I think the community needs to talk about it. I know when I mentioned it to Michael of Cult of Vintage, he, he and Misty both said, yes, yes, yes. We need to talk about this. Um, a couple people said, where do we start? And I said, go on YouTube find that a hashtag is like black thrifters, um, African-American thrifters, African-American. Yeah. You can find. We have, we have great people in the community. Pat yeah. Noodle is amazing. And um, so we'll find them, talk to them. There's, you know, there's some <laughs> conversations. What's that? Okay. <laughs> I wonder if anyone is polyamorous now that we all saw Gabby on the lot. I think a lot of us are polyamorous <laughs> for Gabby now. Asking for her. <laughs> oh my god i'm i yes it's I like yeah we still hear you blushing <laughs> oh yeah she said uh mrs butterworth but they painted her white so wrong of me especially yes i remember seeing oh, that yeah. now see the thing with mrs butterworth is kind of uh hard because i believe the african-american community view her as slightly insensitive or possibly 
Um, so it, that's that's what gets into like the wide scheme of things where then you have to break down um, regional and generational um, backgrounds. Uh, some people in from different age groups that have personally um, experienced these things have um, kind of uh, a younger generation that is more just learning about these things and then they have their own separate thing you know things they are currently going through regional west coast east coast south midwest mm -hmm. so there's a lot of it and it's not black and white that's why it gets so hard and that's why i think a lot of people get very frustrated and the thing when is they're trying that, to understand it because it's yeah. so like you have to just really be open to being open to what other people feel mm -hmm. and think and kind of like go with that. And I because love what you said, because I think we're on the same page is none of this is accusatory. Let's have these conversations. That's all. Yeah. Um, I know that it's sometimes hard to make changes and it's hard to admit, you know, that I'm wrong. When my son was like, mom, what are you doing? I had to go, oh shoot. Oh my God, my bad. But, yeah. but you have to be willing to say, oh, okay, I'm listening. Okay you're right or this is how i feel or whatever right but just have those conversations because it will progress us forward um and i just don't think people understand that when you walk around in a particular city and all you see are confederate statues for right. the confederacy that's not going to feel good if you come from slave history so um, it's the same type of thing with a lot of these vintage items. It, yeah. it just doesn't need to be out there, in my opinion. What's the point? So um, yeah. anyway, the but but let's let's discuss it. Maybe somebody says, but I I have it in my house for this. You know. Yeah. Um, a friend of mine yesterday, she texted me. She was so worried. She said, I bought one of the racist Dr. Seuss books that again. Do the Dr. Seuss company took off the market without anyone suggesting they do that. She said, I bought one so that I could show my grandkids what, what is wrong yes. with that book. And she said, I, I don't plan on reselling it. I don't, you know, I wasn't part of that bandwagon. Her education. Really, yeah. She's like, I wanted to show my grandkids. This isn't okay. So right. anyway, there are reasons, you know, it's just as, again yes have the conversation christina says yeah. it. our canadian friend to the north says have the conversation so that's yes. what we'll do babies that's what we will do but On for now i'm gonna tell you this pilot <laughs> pyrex <ball. laughs> and you know what's funny oh my god i wish gabby if gabby was still Move here away. my Smooth. dog just pooped the puppy pooped right behind me because he's still a puppy and trying to learn and i'm trying to make sure you guys can't see it don't see and the poop and I'm waiting for my husband to come downstairs and clean it. <laughs> Gabby would die. Oh, it's God. So oh, my God. Okay, on to the last of our sale. All right, this is the last uh, fresh item that I'm going to be selling today because I think the thing before that sold the peacock. <laughs> that was so long ago, wasn't it, guys? You remember that metal <laughs> peacock plate that I was selling 500 years ago? <laughs> That was two years ago. Oh my God. Really? Puke then poop. Yes, it's real. This Love has it. happened before, Christina. <laughs> so they, yes. yeah. Oh, I've I had times when I'm like doing something on it and I look and I'm like, my dog just peed on the floor while he was looking at me because he was mad at me. You know, where they're like, <laughs> on video, just, like, like while staring at you. Pee. Like, I'll be on the computer, like, because I do, um, remote like training with like a personal trainer mostly for my sciatic but we got to do some weight loss stuff asap i think but, Luke has been having a conversation with us that we need to check later but she bought oh the yes, i agree yeah. yeah i i remember i was in that sale book when you bought her and then you're like ah why did i buy her oh i missed that i loved it she was painted very nicely so I mean, it, it was, yeah, it was, it was hard, but it's like, I liked the plus size. She's still plus size. So at least you get that. She was beautifully painted. I, I remember seeing her and she was gorgeous. So 
anyway, okay, so this is um, a Pyrex bowl. It is in the um, Crazy Daisy pattern. It. I don't know if these had a little lid, like a little kind of, um, like a casserole kind of lid, or if this was an open bowl more for dips and things like that. Uh, of course, it has the Pyrex, um, you know, all the things down there. <laughs> I Pyrex. collect, I use that pattern. That's my kitchen pattern. And I oh, you never, do? Yeah, I've never seen that bowl. I couldn't it's cool, you. right? Yeah, I saw it in your preview and I am very tempted. Yeah. So this guy has no chips or cracks. Um, and I am going to give it to, I mean... I hopefully I think that's a nice price. $12. So this bowl is five and a half inches wide from the widest points here. And it is two and three quarters inch high. So that probably means that it is maybe about five inches in diameter inside for capacity. It is in perfect condition. This thing looks like it was brand new. The flowers are absolutely perfect. The, the actual Pyrex piece is perfect. So $12 and it is number 73 for the Crazy Daisy Pyrex Bowl. Yeah, I think I, they might call it Spring Daisy too, Christy. I'm yes, not Spring sure. Daisy. And then I think the nickname is called Crazy Daisy. Yes, yeah. yeah. Like people sense. nickname it Crazy Daisy, but thank you, Auntie Christy. Spring Daisy is the the actual like proper Pyrex term for it. So seventy three for twelve dollars is this guy. So that is my last fresh item that you guys have not seen yet. Um, do you want me to like quickly recap, or do you want to recap first? I think I I it's funny because I literally am sitting here with coffee, just watching you as though I'm watching a live, and I'm not even in it. Yeah, so you're like, I so, forgot. I just get to like instead of type in the chat, I just get to verbally chat, right? Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, yeah, she's I want to see this painting now. Yeah, it's beautiful. And I talked to my daughter, my daughter's native, and she's Penobscot, and I she's my she was my foster daughter. And I asked her about native pieces, and that's a whole different thing because, and my dogs are playing again, sorry. But she's like, you know, most native people made these items to sell to yeah. white audiences. So they're not racist. We made them. Um, are you there, oh, honey? Oh, yes. oh, there we go. And so she's like, it, they're proper depictions. So, um, She's like, where you have to be careful is when, you know, it's making fun of native peoples. And so I just got a salt and pepper shaker that came in a lot that is a boy and a teepee. So I have to ask her, like, do you think this is a fair depiction? Should this continue on or should I get rid of, you know, trash yeah. this? So, um, but I just want to ask the people who it affects, you know, but she has a really good take. She's like, you know, not everything is racist, you know, so... Um, and it's just good to ask ask the people who it affects. So definitely, thank you, Auntie yeah. Christie. She says that she likes to, that I take the time to describe the item and the measurements, no matter oh, you the are price. So good at that. Yeah, I I definitely. Um, I mean, even though you know this is a YouTube live sale, I take a lot of pride in everything that I do in general. So that's why even for me, when I like look at everything, I like to try to like make it look kind of cohesive. So sometimes I'll pull stuff out and put other things in and all that. So thank you for noticing. I appreciate and, and it. So that's that's um, how Christina does things. Yes. And then I'm like, <laughs> I'm, like <laughs> I'm like, this this will eat you. I don't know who made it. Let me know if you oh, want it. <laughs> okay, so yesterday I went for the first time ever to the bit. We actually have bins in San Bernardino. I know some of the California girls were talking about it. And they're actually bins. Um, it was a lot of clothing and textiles. But one thing I found in the doll section were these like amazing um, 
doll, like creepy dolls with hand knitted dresses and stuff. So I might be grabbing no, 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 no. some possessed dolls. Even oh, the guy wow. like blew me up. He's like, these are kind of creepy. I'm not going to lie. And I was like, yeah. Yeah. You oh, know what I'm God. doing. You got it, dude. Nice. <laughs> this is their bewitching hour now. Oh my God. I love it. I know. I'm going to be like, having a break for well my husband's like i'll make sure the dogs don't bother you where's the, hus <laughs> where's the husband there's literally, there's literally poop behind me where is he right now oh my gosh i can't even okay so you know what i'm gonna do sweetheart i have a great yeah. idea i'm going to make it so you can't see me at all and i'll do my things while you and i'll clean me. i'll clean up poop yeah okay so, I will quickly run through my items. I'm going to quickly run through my items. <laughs> All right. So I have some things that did not sell. So I can go through them quickly. Uh, the first thing uh, is the second set of strawberries. So these are vintage strawberries. They have that millinery um, feel like the vintage flowers that are on an old hat. It has a fabric covered um, wire stem. The leaves here are fabric and they are covered in these little glass beads. So these I was selling for three. They are four inches long from the top of the stem to the bottom of the berry. So they are a pretty good sized berry. They look really, really nice um, as bowl fillers and things like that. So I was selling these for $12 and they are, if you want these type in strawberry, I'm trying to find uh, 72. But if you guys wanted the strawberries, um, they are $12 for the set of three. I have some brooches. I have this super old beaded brooch. It has a domed top. It is very old. Um, you can see on the back, it has a little bit of yellowing on the fabric. It has the older style um, latch, the C clasp there. And it has the hinge, the fully hinged um, back. This one I had listed for $26. It is number 58. I could do 24 on this one if you guys want this. So it is 58 and I could do $24 on the, um, whoops, the brooch that I just dropped. Um, again, this one is pretty old and it is all beads. I also have this brooch. It is $20. It is a beautiful, shiny green enamel. I believe it was attributed to the mid-50s. That was $20, and it was number 62 for this brooch. I'm just going through it quickly, so if anybody wants measurements or anything like that, just let me know. And then this is the last brooch. It is number 59. I believe this was also $20. I could do 18 on this one if you guys want it. It is all metal, beautiful rose. I believe it was almost two inches long. So that is $59 for that. Or no, number 59, number 59. And I could go 18 on this if you guys want that. I have the set of four block optic uranium glass plates. I know, right, book? This would be beautiful in like a... Um, like a small little frame. This is gorgeous, this brooch. If Belinda was here, she would probably buy it. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
So these are beautiful plates, the block optic. Uh, they are number 57 and they were $14 and they are uranium. $14 for the set of four. I have my California pottery planter that came from the Epic Estate sale with Gabby and Jamie from Mid-Century Wasted. This girl is $26 and she is number 65. $26, number 65, no chips, no cracks for the planter. And this I said is glazed over. It is not a chip. It was either a design decision or an accident. I feel like this is a design decision to make it look like her bangs, but it could also have been uh, mistakenly missed, but it is glazed over. So she is $26 and she is number 65. I have the oh, pink, oh, what's wrong? Hello, did she freeze? Oh, I think Jody froze. I thought she was like reading something. Um, I have the pin cushion in the Majolica planter. Again, like I said, this I did not have time to finish off. Like I know she frozen. Um, you were frozen. No, for I a think second, we Jody. were. I think we were frozen for a minute. Oh, Just was I frozen too? I I think we both were. Oh, online, online we both were. It's hard because, like, you don't know if you're like you look like you're still alive. <laughs> oh. So if I froze again, I'll just quickly recap. The California Pottery Girl is number sixty-five, and she's twenty-six dollars. Or I could just do around twenty-four for or twenty-five for her. I have the Majolica planter turned into the pincushion. This is number 67 and it is $25. When I do the pincushions, if they are a name brand uh, planter, I usually have to pay a little more money for it. So they are normally $25 and the other plant uh, pincushions I normally do for 20, being I have to pay up more for the planter. So this is a Majolica one. I will be finishing it off like all of my other pin cushions with the stitch kind of tomato look if you guys are familiar with pin cushions. But this one has leopard faux fur. That's $25, number 67. I have this little girl was $6. She's 64. I had the Anarcho, beautiful Anarcho teal vase with the sticker on it and the bottom sticker as well. That is 63 and it is $18. I don't know how that didn't sell. I know, me, I'm surprised at it because it's like that beautiful teal green color too. Yeah. Um, And it's very, it's like, plain enough in design that it goes really nice like in the back with other items too because I usually like to put the simpler designs in the back so it like pulls out so this one was $18 and it is a narco again glazed on the inside with this caramel brown color so that is 18 um and I just have like three other little things I had those little salt and peppers but I had the plate. Um, originally, I said six dollars. We could do this for five. It is sixty-nine dollars for the made in Spain plate with the tomato. Or oh my god, strawberries! It's time for me <laughs> dinner. Can you tell? I'm like tomatoes, <laughs> strawberries, <laughs> like a wingman, but for decor. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Um, these were four, but I mean, if somebody wanted these, I could even do them for two or three for the salt and pepper shaker set. Oh, look at this fancy talk over here. El plato de fresa. Ah, yes. The plate of strawberries. Ah, 
Nice. I thought this plant was cool because it was all, I like that it was all green because it like breaks up the red of the strawberries. Mm -hmm. um, I have this beautiful controlled bubble bowl. It is green glass. It does not glow. It is art glass. You can see the gorgeous design there. It is green and then only these little, like every other little kind of thing that sticks out is a clear glass. But the more I look at it, the more it almost just looks like the glass is just showing up lighter green there. Mm. Yeah, it didn't look like much of a flaw. Yeah, it's so that it has the controlled bubbles inside. It had a tiny little rub, um, a tiny little um, stress point on the side. This is number 71. <laughs> And I was asking 22, I could do it for 20. If anybody wants this guy, it is number 71 for the controlled bubble green glass bowl. And then the last item that I have is this um, album of horses book. I was asking $12, I could do 10 on it. If anybody wanted it, it is number 54 for the Album of Horses book from 1964, I believe is the printing, but it was originally printed in 1951. And those are all the items that I have that did not sell. And you know, uh, people do, I look at the statistics of my um, videos and people watch live videos after the fact, like a lot. And so, yeah you'll probably get some emails for things that didn't sell. So um, yeah, yeah, I, that's, that's my experience. Thank you, sweetheart. You're welcome. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show a couple because I don't, I'm, I feel like everyone's here who saw things, but. Um, I was trying to cover up the poop cleaning, so I went over everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it wasn't just one little poop, Cause it's been, you know, we've been here for almost four hours, which I can't believe. They're like, well, and yeah, the puppy was like, okay, you didn't let me out a lot, so he went <laughs> twice. So, right. oh yeah, you can post them on Instagram tomorrow too, Annie Christie said. Oh, um, you're smart. There's a couple other things I want to post on Instagram, so. Yeah, I need to start doing that. I really do. I'm just <clears> gonna show a couple things that I'm a little surprised haven't moved, but. You know, um, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I um the mask. I'm really kind of shocked it's still here. But I know that mask is cool. Yeah. So the tiki mask. Um, I'll do the same thing as um, Christina just did, and I'll I'll lower prices of things. So I think that's a nice idea at the end of a sale. So the tiki mask was twelve. It can be oh the kitty Sherman. We call him Shermaderm. Aww. you there he's a tank he is an absolute oh, tank. and he's featured in my latest haul video because he <laughs> won't leave me alone so the tiki, the tiki mask um is l for ten dollars l for ten dollars and it's got this crocodile or whatever or god as book said yeah yeah so maybe i need maybe i need him on my door um this one here, the cruel. Um, I could go. I could go fifteen. I'll. I'll go fifteen on this cruel. This is just absolutely stunning. I love that cruel. Yes, it is such a good piece. I think oh. if you start posting stuff on IG, it'll it, that could sell. Oh, this would move very quickly. Oh my gosh, book! I have totally. I thought you were selling that afghan in your last sale, and when I came on, I was going to be like. <laughs> Did that the Afghan right show yet? <laughs> yeah. So I bought that from Michael from Cult of Vintage. Oh, hi, oh, Debbie. Yeah. Welcome back. We're going over the things that didn't sell, Debbie, that we're lowering the prices. Oh, it's so cruel. It is. Yes, Don't be cruel. So cruel. So. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I bought that from Michael Cult of Vintage. And it, it was uh, with shipping and everything. It was under $40. And it's like wow. king size. It That's is like, amazing. It is so freaking gorgeous, honestly. So this one I would do, I said 15B. 
Um, but yes, I'll put it on Instagram if not. Um, these poor, the poor creamer and sugar that lost their mama. I beheaded their mama today. <laughs> Unfortunately. Oh, I beheaded her. Um, so they, I could do 12 for these and it would be letter A. The, oh yes, Claudia. The Las Vegas showgirl, that is a, yeah, Las Vegas showgirl swan. Yeah, no, it's a good call thing. So it, it was $6. I can do five, honey. Um, yeah, shake your tail feathers. Shake your tail feathers. That's a really, yeah. K for five dollars. I've got to change prices on here so I don't, um, I don't overcharge somebody. Okay, and then the hole in the head squirrel. Um, hold on. Oh, wait, in the, I don't know where the hole in the head squirrel paperwork went. Claudia's going to take the swan. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much, honey. I also have, um, I have three giveaways that I need to pull out of the bowl. Oh, yay. Yeah. So, Claudia, I'll put you in the, thank you, Claudia, for sending the info. Um, so, yeah, I have three Wade Whimsies to give away. So... Um, the judging dog, I kind of hesitate to reduce him though, because I only had him at eight or her at eight dollars. But I like, yeah, I, I mean, it. yeah, it's it's a really nice piece. So I'm I'm not going to reduce this one. Um, and it's I, the dog figurine. Jesus, where did you buy it from? The dog figurine? No, I'm sorry. Book said she oh. bought a dollar Afghan. It cost her forty five dollars to ship it. Oh, probably. where where's Book out again? Book's in Pennsylvania, right? No, she's in Washington. Oh, that's right. She's but in it's Washington. really it's really really light, and you should be able to like suck it, like suck the air out, and make it oh, small yeah. and send it in a. Yeah, that's. Hmm. But yeah, some, there are ship. some people that charge shipping and it ends up being like always like about how much the item was. And I'm like, that seems yeah. not. Which is why eBay changed their policy and took 12% off of shipping because yeah. a lot of people were getting their uh, profit in the shipping. So, yeah. so this sweet book about these lovers, lovers from Alabama oh. to Washington. That's a, yeah, that's a long yeah. story. Pro yeah, probably didn't use pirate shipping. Yeah. So yeah. this one was five. I could take four for this sexy couple who probably just do it missionary style because it's uh, <laughs> <laughs> because it was published in 1942. Well, they probably didn't do just missionary, but the book probably is going to suggest they did. So, so like anyway. Like that's what should be doing. That's us. Um, let's see. Oh, the dominoes. Yeah, they're still here. These dominoes yeah, that are cool. Those dominoes. So amazing. So I won't tell everything about them again unless somebody wants to learn more. But these were 16, so I can do 14. And I'll put that down. 14 for the dominoes. T. Chris. Christina. I love that Christina laughs at me. Yeah. Or laughs. <laughs> Maybe she's laughing at me. Maybe she's laughing with me. I don't know. I'll take it any other anyway. Yeah, I don't whatever even remember like. what I had on this squirrel. The hole yeah. in the head squirrel with the belly button. So, yeah, I guess it could be used for buds. I don't know. Or toothbrush holder. What else did we say? Paintbrush? Mm -hmm. Oh, tea. Claudia, you want tea. Oh, the dominoes, Claudia. Good. Yeah, those are cool, those dominoes. Did you see them, Claudia, when they were, um, when I showed them in their full glory? Because they're freaking amazing. Oh, helping shelter pets. Is that your vet? Is that your vet tech? Yeah, that's, I think that's Kelly. Yeah, she's like, Tiki. 
Yeah, look, like it's sneaky. <laughs> oh, you did, Claudia. Good. They're really cool, Claudia. Um, yeah, that's Kelly. Um, and then, of course, I had a couple of books. If anyone's interested in the Rumpelstiltskin or the Gingerbread Man, I would take a dollar off of those. So just let me know. Um, the Cinderella one where she's brunette and he's darker skinned. I could do... Um, I could do eight. It was 10. Um, otherwise, I'll just put it up. I have a vintage book site, uh, which is the thriftypigeon.com, and I sell all my vintage books on there and take some out occasionally to uh, sell in live sales. So I just love that so much. So I think that's it. Um, I have those pink dishes and the, the turtle bowl, um, if anybody wants to see it, or the quilt squares. You can just let me know. I don't. I don't want to tell it. Oh, what am I miss? Oh, okay. She said hi. Yes, but she's yeah, the one. Kelly. All right. We'll let we'll let people see Tiki. There we go. Yeah, there's Tiki. Oh, she's so <laughs> alert for being 17 years old. Oh or my god, I know. He's a. <clears throat> no, it's okay. Everybody says she usually. <laughs> yeah. Um. When he was first sick. Uh. With Brandy yes, and yes. Yeah. it did. It does. Do, am I saying, can you tell me how to say your name, sweetheart? Is it Cher? I think it's Cher Finds, right, Cher? Oh, Cult of Vintage is on. Hey, hi. Thank you, Claudia. Yes, go watch Thank that. Thank you for we're, coming. We're done. Thank you, Claudia. You're amazing. Yes. Okay, so, uh, oh, you want the mask? Okay, sweetie. And I think I reduced it. So let me make sure. Yes, I got to write that, but I reduced it. Bless you. All right, Nikki, I got you. Okay. Yeah, this is such an awesome find. And I I paid up for it, but I want people to have it. Oh, I need to do my giveaway. No, Cher otherwise I'm going to take that mask. Cher is short for Sherry. Okay, nice. Okay. So Black Dog, I've got you for that. All right, so I have three Wade Whimsies. Do you want me to put here? We'll take Tiki away for one second. Tiki, it's okay. You'll be back. You'll be back. He's, okay. he's had enough attention this lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so one of these Wade Whimsies is the same. I'll just sage the shit out of it. Don't you see what she said? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, so this Wade Whimsy is uh, one of them I gave away last week, too. I found another one, the parrot. So I will see. Let's see. It is going to whoever got the nesting dolls, and I didn't write down who got the nesting dolls. Find me the Do you remember who got them? What did, I'm sorry. Who got the nesting dolls? The dog and the cat and the mouse? Was it book? I can't remember because I think that was one where there was a lot of people and I can't remember who won it. Yeah, okay. So I'll Wait just look for I didn't write their name down. I don't know how I did that. Um, I'll look for plastic daisy brooches, uh, Kay. I actually have a metal daisy brooch that I don't know if you'd like. Oh, Lynn, it was you. Okay, Lynn. Thank you, Lynn. Jeez. I was going to look back. All right, sweetie. Thank you. Well, you won the parrot whimsy, too. It was me. It was me, she says. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now a little Wade Whimsy bunny. Cute. Bunny. And that's going to go to Claudia. Claudia, you get the little Wade Whimsy bunny. Congrats, Claudia. Oh, she left because she went to... Um, yeah, she, I guess he's doing like a Christmas, it says, ish live sale. Oh, okay. So I, I don't yeah, know if it's I'll, all I'll Christmas it. or what's what's going I'll on. I'll check it out. I'll check it out. Like, we're, we're down to just a few people, so they're probably all headed there. So our timing was good, though. Yeah, perfect timing to like end right there. Yeah. So the last Wade Whimsy is two puppies snuggling. Oh, and that will go to that's to going to book. 
Congrats, so Brooke. Brooke. Yeah, the puppy whimsies. Because she got the um, bunny, the strange bunny to send to a friend. So I'll send the whimsy in one of books packages because I have a package for her and then I'll send that other thing out. So so that's it for me, my love. All right. Bye, Kay. I think she's going over to Michael too. Yeah, everybody's leaving. Everyone's leaving now. Yes. We don't even have to so, stay and do a chat. Because I know I could just I guess we could just wrap up if anybody else is watching. Um you have your upcoming sales. Did you want to um um, a couple people just came back in. So, hi, bye, Black Dog. Have fun at the sale. Hi, Black Dog. Back. Thank you again for coming. I'm going to grab, a, I always grab a glass of whiskey, like a glass of whiskey. Nice. <laughs> and, and sit and watch the sales. So, I think it's an, I think it's time for whiskey. Right. So I think, I for some whiskey shopping. <laughs> so, Claudia doesn't get the bunny. LOL. No, Claudia got the bunny, right? And book. Oh, I think she's saying like you gotta be, you gotta be here to win or some present oh, to win. <laughs> oh. Okay. What's uh, funny, book, is that um, so? Book said on my last sale something about like I would, pay, I would pay. Um, oh, Marianne, isn't she great? Yeah. So she said something like I would pay uh, for those Wade whimsies. Like she was trying to say it wasn't a bad. Um, giveaway because I was like it's kind of a tiny little giveaway and books like no I would have paid for those yeah okay I'll do that book I'll do that I don't think Claudia is going to be mad I'll switch I like out. that little parrot that's cool there are a few so, Wade whimsies that if I found them I would pay like for the Wade for like there's a little Shetland pony that I stupidly did not buy at the time that I want to buy for my pinup mentor, Dee Dee Cupcake, because she's very short. And she always says she's like a Shetland pony because she's pretty, but she's like stumpy. So she's she's little, little. Like she's about like to hear to me. Oh so my yeah, she, I wanted to get that for her because she says she's a Shetland pony. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I They're so cute. So um, uh, what's funny, though, is Book said something about uh, like she'd pay for them, but what she meant was <clears throat> that they're worthy of being a giveaway. My friend uh -huh. who was watching thought that book meant that she was sad they were a giveaway because she would have bought them. So my friend, when she went out sourcing this weekend, she bought some of them for book. Oh, like, that's so sweet. Isn't it so sweet? That's so sweet. Oh, it's so so she's like, I'll give them to you so you can send them to book. So, um, awesome. Yeah, it's amazing. I get, I, yeah, I, yeah, I gave you the parrot bait. Wait, feeling greedy parrot. No. So book. No, you can't ones, have that parrot. <laughs> but one of the ones my friend bought you buck was the parrot one. She bought it at a sale this weekend. So you're getting the parrot. Ooh, girl, so, you lucky. My friend's name is Ruth York. She's sometimes in the chat. Oh she yeah. Is, I've seen her. She's magic. She is freaking magic. She's one of the most beautiful humans you could ever meet. So uh, right here in Bangor. So come on down to Bangor. To Bangor. Mm -hmm. So, um, okay. So yeah, we should wrap it up. So I'm going to, oh, she's There's here. Ruth. <laughs> she's probably been here the whole time. She she's is like, magic. You shut your <laughs> mouth. Yes. She's pure magic. I love that she was here and I didn't know it. This whole time, probably. So anyway, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, I'll just say what I'm doing. So Wednesday, this Wednesday, I'm on with um, I'm on with Toledo Antiques. He's t he and his wife typically do Instagram lives, but I'm going to be doing a YouTube live on his channel. So he gets to host what he's excited about. Cause I, it's nice to like, you just got some new people learning about you yeah. and I want some new people to learn about me and you know, some people will like us and some people won't, but you just spread your audience to see, you know, who sticks. So, absolutely. Uh, so Friday night I will be with Tammy and, uh, the flirtable David on, uh, and Christina Taylor 
Okay. And I, so maybe David's probably not going to be there. So I think it's us three ladies, us gorgeous ladies, and we are going to be doing the Christmas in July so that we'll try to throw some, um, uh, yes, David and Allie. Yes, that's that's um, Toledo <laughs> Antiques. Yeah. And, oh, she's stuck like glue with yeah. us. I think that's what she's saying. Ah. So um, then, so Friday will be the Christmas in July sale that I'll see if they want to throw some Halloween, Thanksgiving or whatever stuff in. And then next Sunday, I'll be on with Daniel, Tacky as Me. So I'm going to start to make a, a calendar of my own and put that on, on um, Instagram. So tell us what you're doing, honey. So I have coming up um, July 28th is a Wednesday night and I will be on with Jan from Antiques from Karen. Yeah. I will be on her channel and um, I'm going to be bringing my Christmas in July. I'm only doing the one Christmas in July sale. I'm blowing it all on one. Um, and then obviously part of me, once it gets to real Christmas, you'll get more Christmas. Mm -hmm. But um, I will be doing the sale with Jan from Antiques from Karen, which I am extremely excited about. I have a few things that I am actually going to make. I have a couple Ooh. up my sleeve that I am. So different things other than pin cushions. Um, so if it works out the way I have in this brain of mine, <laughs> it's going to be amazing. <laughs> Yes, I know. I'm so, so excited to be collabing with her. And I have, hopefully by the time that I do that, I'll have my uh, regular lamp that I bought from her that I can show off. Mm. <laughs> I have to fix it. But if you guys watched her lamp video, the only one that she panned by and it said sold in parentheses, it's mad. <laughs> oh, look at This is cute. Yes, I said that. We need to do a, a C and K sale, Christina. So I'm gonna message you, and we gotta like figure that out. I was telling them, um, you know, my first sale. I'm like, oh, you know, I'm gonna do a sale here and there. I'm not. This is like story of my life. No, I'm just gonna do a little bit. Now I got a package scale coming. I got more <laughs> right. sales planned. I gotta set up my garage so I can like <laughs> put all this stuff and organize it. I just jump in. So I would love to do a C and K sale. I would absolutely adore that. So look out for that. And then in August, maybe we could do it in August. Cause I only have one other sale planned um, other than my C or I was going to say my C and K. <laughs> my, um, my Jan antiques from Karen co-sale July 28th. We have not set a date for it yet, but I will be collaborating with Martha from Vintage Conversation in Texas. Um, it's cool because like Martha and Tammy from Vintage Uprising are two women that were some of like my first purchases in live sale. Me so too, to have Martha, two. yeah, like I love them to have Martha approach me and ask, um, if I wanted to do a sale was super exciting. So that is in August. So maybe Christina and Christina can do our sale in August. That would be super. That cool. is so cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's another sexy lady sale for sure. Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, book. <laughs> I love, I love what you said, book. I, I'm trying to get Ruth learning about eBay, like just one, like that one step. So we'll see. <laughs> We'll see what I we'll see what I can do because she uh, she thrifts just as much as I do. But Ruth's like, I don't know what to do. Like, I, I just keep keeping the stuff because I have no place to sell it. And I'm like, girl, <laughs> let me show you. She's like, I keep getting these great bargains of stuff that's worth a lot of money that I but I don't really necessarily want it. So I'm like, well, OK, I'll show you what to do. Other well, people want it. Yeah. So. um so yeah, we need girl. We you and me just started this thing, and we already need to do calendars and um, yes. This, yes, this community is so awesome. And I think the yeah. more authentic that you are, and you definitely are, and I hope that I am. Yes, the more you are. The uh, you know the community just is attracted to that, and so and I I'm attracted to that. So I, that is um, exciting. Yeah, I'm so I think excited it's for like you and I to do more stuff too. 
Yeah, Gosh, and the other yeah. thing I was going to mention, and I feel like we could sit here and talk all night. Like, honestly, we need to like just talk on the phone as friends soon. Cause, yes. Yes. <laughs> Cause that would be great. But, uh, cause I literally tell my husband, like, I, um, I'm like, Oh, Lilac just yeah. messaged me. And he's like, he's like, he doesn't, he doesn't really know your name. Yet. Yeah. So <laughs> I was like, Lilac just messaged me. And he's like, who's that? And I'm like, my best friend. God. <laughs> Oh, oh yay, look, Jan is there. Oh, hello, sweetheart. Oh my God, dude, Jan, I was just about to say like, also <laughs> on my list is a ring light because this is the time of day when like the sun is right here and I look like I'm being like sucked up into heaven like during the end <laughs> times. So I'm like, oh. <laughs> so, so yeah. Oh, group chat, yeah. So, yes, Kay. We have yeah, a we have some California girls, but like we need to start just like a, a big group chat of like all of so us. In there. I say California girls plus a Canadian and a Mainer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm down with that. Let's do that. <laughs> so that what I, what I was gonna say to you, and then we should probably let these people go off. And I know do there's there's things. other sales going on. I know there's. <laughs> Is, uh, so I, I have a lot of different art that I make too. And I was thinking of, you know, how I've done static sales, like the mug sale, the pottery sale, the live sales, that kind of thing that I would like to do just an art sale where I show my art and so a lot of it is uh, limited edition prints. So yes, people could I just buy, that. yeah, people could just, you know, I, they could just put in a number and then they each can get a print. And I usually oh, cool. do runs of 50 or 100. So, um, and some of them I'm already halfway out of. But, um, and oh yeah, look at the teapot she, Jim, for Jim. Oh, it's hard to Hang see. on, let me try to. Yeah. This it's light is like the devil, I swear to God. Oh. Well, now I know what the light looks like in your area when mine is just about. There. Sunset. Oh God! Thank Jesus, man. <laughs> but yeah, I have, I've been doing this the whole time. What an idiot I am! Oh, what look you how bright this curtain? looks! <laughs> Jesus Christ! All right, you guys, I learned quick. And you know what? Your face looks amazing right now in this light, too. <laughs> sure, wait till the end of the sale. Yeah. Not that you yeah, maybe right people would have maybe people would have seen stuff better if it wasn't being like. <laughs> no, it didn't I'm get bad. Like, I come just like, God damn it! I look awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't get bad till. Yeah. Well, in the future, I'll have a ring light or something. So that'd be great. <laughs> so, so there. All right, this is this is it. Uh, what did you found? Did you find the um the lampshade to my lamp? Did you find the pear to my lamp? Did you find another? <laughs> <laughs> I got did you find me a rich lover? What have yes, you Yes, did, did you find me somebody that will make me things and buy me things? <laughs> oh, she said it. <gasps> Back off, oh. girl. She's mine. I can't wait to see because I don't know if what she's talking about. But if about. he's not broken, like I probably can't afford it. But the regular one, the, one you, mm -hmm. the one you bought is broken. He just has like a little bit. There were no people in the upstairs porch. Oh, is this must be at an estate sale, maybe? No, she found it. She found it at her house, I thought. Huh. Guess what oh, we book, found now book look. I'm like, uh oh. No, if there's another regular lady lamp that's available for purchase. <laughs> you asked oh, oh, if I found it. a man, it was a lady. So the lamp I bought has a partner, but the funny enough, like I don't really like the partner. I get her joke now. Oh it me, God. It me who said rich husband or no rich lover. Cause I didn't want to suggest male or female cause whatever. And so, uh, 
<laughs> she's and, like, no, there were no people. So as previously stated with me not figuring out the lighting. <laughs> me a second, but I learned. <laughs> No rich lovers is basically what she said. Yeah. Dang it, man. Because there were no people there. So there were no, like, but I mean, at this point, I feel like if she found somebody in there, it's probably going to be a mummified corpse. But hey, <laughs> if he has a good inheritance, I'll take him. I've dated worse. That's right. <laughs> it's not the same lady. Broken men. I only get broken men. Yeah, oh. I've, I've, I've had some I've had some guys that are just about as good of, as a uh, a dead core. <laughs> <laughs> this is when it gets naughty. Let's let's just get punchy. Let's get punchy. We Sorry. found an alligator. I still got this stupid thing. I'm like, hello. This is <laughs> You're like book for Christ's sake. I'm trying to show this. <laughs> oh, a taxidermy. Oh she found a taxidermy baby alligator. Now, where is Janet? Jan is in New is in um, upstate in New York. Jan, right? I knew, yep, I knew that. I knew that. Oh my gosh! I so I am a vegetarian, but I cook meat, so there's that. So I'm not like all crazy, whatever. But I kind of really, really want a taxidermy peacock in my house, like in my bedroom. I don't know if you guys have ever watched. Um, there are a few Dita Von Teese, like home tours, but Dita Von Teese has a pair of, I don't know if hers are, um, albino or regular, but she has a pair of, um, peacocks. That's cool. I have yeah. Book, Book and I are probably the two people that are like, how much? <laughs> I have friends that taxidermy. And what's funny is one of them is a vegan. But she loves, like, if it's already dead, she loves, like, making it last forever. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, and there's certain animals that kind of would creep me out to have on the wall. But I don't, I feel like, like a beautiful peacock. Because normally they put them on, like, a branch or they're on something where they could be, like, set, like, on a pillar. Yeah. So I definitely am interested but yeah oh my gosh okay so i will be watching jan's working video while i eat my dinner so i can look at the regular lady <laughs> wait so did she make a video did jan make so a video she was, so she said she was late like, today to this stream because normally on sundays um earlier because she said they went three and a half hours so they go on about i want to say about an out like noon my time i want to okay. say Maybe so we should go watch that though, is what we're saying. We'll go watch what yes. she, she's gonna show everything so she found. She doesn't so she doesn't sell during that stream, to my knowledge. It's like her uh, Julie Smurf um uh oh, 3 p.m. Eastern, she said 3 p.m. Eastern. So that's eleven o'clock my time, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. So um eleven Pacific. So right, I don't think they sell, they just go through and like she pulls stuff out. People like tell her about things if they have knowledge about it. Um, it's okay. really cool because it's kind of like some moral support for her, like when she's working through the house. So she's not just like, yes, by herself. this is what Sue was talking about last night. Right? Yeah. 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 So does because I'm subscribed and I did the bell button but I don't get notifications from her. Yes. And the other thing is, and it's not her fault, but the other thing is um, today I got a notification for a live that was three weeks ago. Swear to God. So, oh yes, no, I know, I know about it, honey. I, Jan, I know about it. Oh, book bewitched. I, I wish I could taxidermy my exes as well. <laughs> Oh, by the way, babe, while you were gone, the dog pooped behind me twice. So, yeah, that was that was yeah. fun. I definitely wish I get. So, yeah, this was the this was the McCoy the McCoy teapot. I'm gonna put it down. But book wanted me to show this to Jan. It's the McCoy. Um, 1953 is what Gabby said. Teapot that they saved me from myself, and they <laughs> put it on eBay or Etsy. And it came with, it comes with the, uh, the open sugar. 
The open sugar that looks like a creamer that is not a creamer. Oh my gosh, I snagged this so fast. And the girl up front, like she was like, oh, like we thought this was really, really cool. So I told her, I was like, well, you got a good eye. Like you knew that you were looking at something cool. Like, I mean, you know, nice. Okay, so now, now I understand the entire beauty of this story. So sweet Jan is going through this hoarded house. Yes. She sees an alligator, a stuffed alligator in some corner, and she oh. thinks it's a dead carcass of a cat. Like, she must have been just shitting herself. Like She's probably just like, oh, God, no. Because I've seen some of those hoarder episodes where there's, like, skulls and stuff of the cats, like, in there. Or they're, like, all flat, just like, God. My mother-in-law was a hoarder. It was yeah. bad. When she have I mentioned I have junk all around me from all of this? Like, that's why I got to set my garage up. <laughs> There's a I'll difference between like massive collections and hoarding. Like not being able to get rid of newspaper. Like, because you haven't read it yet. But you have a stack that goes on forever. Oh, yeah. I told, I told Jan, like my father's father. Like, I don't even really remember him, like his face. I just remember yelling into the doorway and like there would just be piles and piles and piles of newspapers and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah. I, um, I understand. I have a lot of um, sympathy for that because I could very easily see how it could quickly get really crazy. And there's a difference too between like the people that hoard um, like stuff and they don't necessarily do some of the other things that might be, you know, some of the, the hygiene things that are not oh, great. Right, right. You know, I think that's all, that's another la layer of a mental health stuff that needs to be. Well, hoarding with, but definitely comes from pain. It comes from pain yes. and trauma. Uh, if you can't. Anxiety, not knowing yeah. how to like channel anxiety. Like my place got really like out of the way that I like to have it. Um, during Tiki stuff, you know, mm. my dog and all that. So it's, it, it's unfortunately, especially when it's an older person, I can very easily see how you get to that point where it's like kind of bad and then you don't have the energy to go yeah. the other way. And then it just gets worse and worse and worse and worse. So I totally like, totally feel my it. My therapy Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. No, I was just going to say, fun. but luckily Jan's uh, mother had an amazing, amazing, amazing eye. She was very mm. smart. Here's, I bought stuff from Jan. I don't remember what the heck I bought, but it has her mom's writing on it. And like, I'm never going to take that off. Like I'm going to keep it on there. Ruth, I think you should subscribe to Antiques from Karen, Jan. Yes. <clears throat> I really think yeah. you would appreciate it. You'd love watching her working video, her working live streams like she had today earlier. Cause it's like, she takes, she like clips you on. I think she's got like one of those harnesses and she like clips it. Yeah. On that yeah. thing. So she's literally like, do, 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 like doing stuff. And like the camera's right here. So you see her working like you're working. So it's really, really cool. I need one of those for shop with me's because I completely hate. Yes. It. So my husband watches um, the, they're mostly men that go through um they buy the garages or whatever you, the storage lockers yeah yeah and they always wear something and like go through and so hey honey he left in the alligator hey. <laughs> <laughs> was she triggered by the alligator or needed to go see the alligator i'm wondering <laughs> i mentioned loving sharks in a live chat and some people went nuts and were like no no, don't like. Well, that's like even when people go crazy about like clowns. I'm like, yeah. Unless it's John Wayne Gacy, <laughs> I am not afraid of a clown. I just, I don't know. But I mean, I also <laughs> grew up like clowns at oh, oh, gotcha. and, and going to Ringling Brothers, and which I know has its own issues now. But I that was like, I always, huh? I thought they closed Ringling Brothers. Oh yeah, but done. I'm an old per. I'm old man. I'm talking oh, about. Yeah, when yeah. I you're not old, you weirdo. <laughs> oh my gosh, you want to hear about me being a perpetual activist my entire life? Um, so I worked getting elephants out of circuses in my mid-20s. 
And so I was always protesting the circuses, but I was literally working, like I'd go and talk to elephant trainers to try to get them to give their elephants, which, you know, telling them to give an animal that they paid $40,000 for to a sanctuary, it's kind of hard. hard. Yeah. But, you know, I would, I had some tricks up my sleeve. Um, it only worked once and barely, but um, that's because he had so many allegations of abuse against him that I'm like, either you're going to go to jail soon or you give us this elephant. But anyhow, um, yeah, so I used to protest a lot and I used to get spit on and all this stuff for trying to get elephants. Now, now the, you know, these things don't exist and people are like, yeah, they're all done. And I'm like, yeah, I was perpetually yeah. spit on. And now you, you're like, this, maybe it was a good idea to not have elephants in circuses. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 second, you. I remember in second grade, I did a whole like, and it's kind of funny because thinking back on it now, like now I understand why the kids are so shocked, but I did a whole presentation. I don't remember what we had to talk about, but I chose to speak about, um, the clubbing of baby harp seals to oh. make um, fur coats. And I literally like I had I, like this cute little like girl with her like, you know, a little bow in her hair. And I had like a save the baby harp seal shirt that I made. And I have like a poster board with like the the bloody like PETA level, like the pictures and all this stuff. And I'm just like, this is da -da -da -da. and the kids were just like, oh my God, no. But I was like, I don't know why, but like Moms ever since I was little, cool. yeah. Yeah, like so I just I think that's just been in my like even while we were talking about like talking about the collectibles and this, it's always just kind of been in my nature to just be like, so this is what I don't think is cool, and I'm gonna talk yes. about it. But not I, in like yeah. a you know, whatever like way, like in a chill way to be able to. Have well, people. I, I think I've learned that in time too. And I, I feel slightly proud of myself if that's okay to be, but yes. that I, um, before I would be like, th there's right and there's wrong and you're either here or there. And now I, through the years, I'm like, you know, that's why I was good at talking to the elephant trainers because I didn't come at them like you're wrong, like you're wrong and you're abusive and you need to get rid of this elephant. I came yeah. at them like, I know this is your livelihood. I know you love this elephant. Um, this is not the right environment for this elephant. You know, just yes. having nuance and um, just loving people. And so being, I'm a different kind of activist today than I was when I was much younger. So, yeah. And I'm glad for it. Cause I don't like extremes just, yeah. So yeah, good. Well, we've got people yeah. finding each other and so yeah, I guess we can. So um, yeah, four, uh, four and a half hours, Christina. I know, it's whatever. I know, I'm like starving. My dog is probably gonna pass out because he only weighs three pounds and he's hungry. Oh my gosh, three. But pounds. um, thank three. you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys for hanging out with. Um... <laughs> don't, don't feel guilty. About that. <laughs> If that's your biggest guilt in life, you're doing all right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so thank oh. you guys for tuning in. Thank you to Jody for reaching out to me. It really means a lot when anybody sees like what I'm doing and reaches out to me and, and wants to, to work with me. I always love that. So thank you. And I'm excited to do more. More sales with Jody. More talk. More everything. Jody, more everything. I'll, I'll We'll read books together online. I don't care. I just want to be with you. Yeah, right? <laughs> I'll read a um, series catalog. <laughs> yeah. Oh, actually, I will write to you about this, but look up Cocology, K-O-K-O-L-O-G-Y. Yeah. Just look it up. And I think we should do Cocology stories together online. We, you'll see. It's really cool. Okay. And I own the book. So, um, and yes, okay. what Reaching, reaching out, <laughs> touching, touching you, you touching, touching me, sweet Caroline. Okay, boom, so my boom, grandmother boom. growing up, like, I don't know why, yeah, like, my grandmother apology. loved Neil Diamond so much. Oh, so this is funny. Well, I guess we should end on something, but I yeah, just made my camera down. worse. I just made my camera worse, but... The boys, so I had my son in the car with his two best friends 
And they were all discussing three days ago how disappointing a song Sweet Caroline is. And I was like, no, no. First of all, go watch The Jazz Singer because I've had enough of your shit. And then like, <laughs> right. like, no, and go to a Boston game where we all, because I'm from the Boston area, where we all sing it together. And they were like, yeah, the lyrics make no sense. And they were like, they were just pooping all over the song. And I was like, no, 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 no. You don't get to do that because, because you know, you have to come together when you sing it and everybody goes, bum, bum, bum. You know, you gotta- I think kids together. don't get stuff like that nowadays where I'm like, you couldn't just tweet somebody and say, let's do it all together. Like it, it's like when you did the freaking, uh, the wave, you know, yeah. you're just standing up and sitting down. But the fact that everybody did it and people weren't on their cell phone going, yeah, whatever. Nowadays, <laughs> like you don't want to do that junk. It's boring. I did the wave at a basketball game last week. So it was so funny. There were only six parents there and we were all sitting like right next to each other or seven, seven in a row. And so I looked over at them all because the, the, our kids were looking over at us and I was like, I was like, quick, do the wave. And so I started it. And so all, all seven parents, and then it came back to me and the boys were just like, yeah. I know they're probably like so lame. So lame. I'm like, I'm hilarious. Fun. I am hilarious. Back in the day, this was a thing, all right? Like, <laughs> to get in contact, like, even pagers were like crazy. All right. So I'm going to just show these quick to book before we leave. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look, book. I know she likes Hetty Shoop. I'm just learning about Hetty Shoop. Did you know that? I, di I didn't know anything. I love Hetty. These are going to be in. So I'm actually doing, cause it's a, a pair, which when you find, so like the regular lamps, this is why I, I'm not lame, Jan, God, <laughs> I'm lame, but this is another reason why, like I, um, it hurts my heart when people break up like vintage pairs. Mm. Because in, I don't know why, but in the 50s and the 40s, especially like the 50s and the 60s, pears were like a big thing. Like they got off on pears. So <laughs> like, they got off oh. on heterosexual pears. No, <laughs> they got off on like matching pairs of things. Like, yes, thank you. Oh, they like, they Teddy. look at each other and then they like mirror each other. <laughs> so like stuff comes in pairs a lot. Yes. But it's funny because I know book is like, kind of well book doesn't like to have male uh statues in her hat which it's funny because i have a lot of lady stuff too <laughs> ladies are beautiful and i think they're only ladies here so that's true so so janet like what i was saying with like the pears because i was telling her if she ever finds like that pair <laughs> up to my lamp oh right for myself, like I would pay more for that lamp to offset. Cause like once it becomes a pair, the value goes up. Yes. So and that's why I was like, well, I'll pay like more to compensate for it if you ever found the pair. But that's what's hard is that's why when you see vintage pairs, especially breakable things like these, um, the pre so like these I'm probably gonna have for like a hundred um at my in-person sale, the shopping bop. That's it. Sure they're not worth more. They're probably worth more. Um the pair listed on um Etsy, <laughs> I believe <laughs> is 125, 130. I need to know. Oops, no, 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 no. Uh-oh, sorry guys. Oh, okay. Now know I about know. How did how did you do? What did you just put them in the turn them around? Turn them around. <laughs> Behead them. Oh, oh, that's good. But then this guy can't play. This guy can't uh, blow his horn if he doesn't have a head. Right, right. <laughs> Maggie, that's enough. That's enough, girl. But yeah, it's so funny because I don't have a lot of, like, only if they're a pair. That's when I. So that's why I was kind of happy that the one lamp that she had found was the lady. <laughs> She's right though. Like from what I hear, it could take her two years to find the other one. I mm -hmm. just, I just got she, wind of how this is all working for her. And she has a chalkware cowboy lamp that is like, Maggie, come here. 
it's so far that you're just like oh you can see it in the house like yeah you could see it like watch the videos like you could see she's zoomed in on it It, there's a whole video where she just shows like as many lamps as she can and she lost track at like 150 years it's crazy but it's far away and you could zoom in on it and it's cool because he has like the lasso like this and i think it even has the matching like the lampshade that's supposed to go with it and like he looks big too, so he'd probably be like five million dollars to mail. But he's oh wait, super so cool. Janet, wait, Janet, Jan, she, I made her a moderator then, right, Jan? Are you a moderator? I must have in my first sale. Yeah, yeah, his, his book said. Penis. Yeah, penises. Penises are always allowed, Jan. Just so you know. It's what I was saying because, like, <laughs> when Jamie uploaded our three-way live sale, she said it got only partially monetized and I was like part of it was probably because it said three-way <laughs> <laughs> but she also said because of what we talked about in the live sale possibly but I was like I think the three-way was a red flag I've not had that happen before like I got a something is demonetized because of a oh, somebody bought the cowboy I knew they would that thing is bad ass I love that Jan says, yes, I'm smurfed. She's in blue. She's probably the only one that was been on, was on blue the whole night. I know. Oh, Jan, can you put my channel, Lilacs Vintage Life? But I know. So sorry. I'm sorry I cut you off, Jody. No, no, no. No, no. I was just trying to figure out what you what you. I hate when to. I do that. No. Oh, she just, she's smurfed. So she can put in like links and people could click on them. Oh, um, okay. you're not a moderator. It like types in the um, like you can see see the letters, but you can't click on it. Like you'd have to like copy and paste right. it. Kind of like what she. Okay. Thank you, Jan. Yeah, so I'm. Blue and then it's so bad because I know a book reminds me all the time. And she's like, "Oh, put your link in," and I can't. It's so hard for me to figure out how to share my own channel when it's my like. I'm like, do I go? out and click no yeah i've got to figure all of this out with i'm gonna yeah. pay for premier because i heard that then you can get more options like i was able to figure out all the options for our layout that was great but i can't make moderators from here and what i had to do was i think go, you do it from youtube right exactly but you have to have chatted in here so then i made my husband chat in here so that i could make him a moderator and i couldn't it wouldn't give me the option for him. But Michelle, Emancipation Michelle was like, don't you make that boy a moderator. You put him in his place. <laughs> so, so it's kind of a joke now where I'm like, yeah, you're helping me, honey, but you're not a moderator. So, you're not a boss. Sorry. I, yeah, Jan, Jan, I remember. And I was calling you Janet, but now I know to call you Jan. See, look, um, Jan's a mod and I'm not even a mod. But the, I know. And at that's first because, I was that's because I'm going to go, I'm going to. She doesn't, J- Jody doesn't trust me yet to be a mom. Oh, stop it. I, um, at first I was calling her Karen. Like, <laughs> so I was like, thanks, Karen. <laughs> you know, it's so hard at first. Yes, that's right. You offered to t- teach me StreamYard. And then we were going to talk on phone. And then some bullshit happened in my life. And I don't, I still have your number somewhere. So, yeah, you're amazing. I adore you. Thank you so much. Click them in old chats. That's what I tried to do with my husband. So, yeah, I'll go in there and see if I can make you a moderator, make book one, and make you one, Christina. Yay. Because I, I think I made, like, three people. Um, so, yeah, my husband's in the kitchen going, you're still leaving me out of it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a woman's world, baby. Try to keep up. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> you guys have had long enough. Okay, our turn. All right. Well, we actually gained more people watching while we're just sitting here doing nothing. But nice. (laughs) It's probably Tiki. Probably Tiki brought. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. He's like those tiny little chicken nugget legs. Like I know. Look at his little. Like he's got the tiny little feet. They're like lobster. Lobster legs. Yeah. Um. (laughs) My brother calls them rat feet, but. (laughs) They're, they're close to rat feet. Rude. Rude. I like rats. They're okay. They're okay. Yeah. 
At least he doesn't have a rat tail. Like, he still has the fur on his tail. Sometimes when they get old, like all the hair falls off their tail and it I've literally it. is a rat tail. And it's like, eh, it just kind of. I've seen it. Out. My friend rescues um, old chihuahuas. And Aww. sometimes she's on here. And yeah, I don't think I've ever seen her have one that had fur on its tail. And he still has a lot of his teeth. So that's why his tongue doesn't stick out. And he yeah. doesn't have that, like, he still has a little, his little chihuahua jawline. You must but love Bye, sweetie. All right. Bye, bye, bye Dan. Dan. Okay. I so think we should really let's go. Let's go. Buy just let everybody go and we can yeah. eat and you can have your whiskey and go shopping. It's time. All right, okay. guys. Thank you. I, and, and and I um thank you, Christina, for being here. And thank you for entering into my life and allowing oh. me to like pull you in. Of course. Not that creepy. So no, yeah. thank you guys so much for being so welcoming. I really appreciate it. Bye, Kay. Bye, Jim. Bye, Buck. Everyone else yes. is still here. Yes. Um, Scott and Chris. Scott and Chris. Yeah, she's going to watch Scott and Chris because they don't have a lot of people. Okay. So who's Scott and Chris? Oh, <laughs> um, no. I love you. I love you too, Christina. Okay. Um, I love all of Okay, I'm looking through. She said, so Jan is going to see Scotty. Oh, and Chris. She said, call them Scotty and Chris. Scotty and they Chris. don't get a lot of people we like to see. Oh, maybe them. it's... Maybe it's who she said um, bought... Scotty from Antiques you, and Profits. I think it's antiques and profits because she said okay. he's Scotty is the one that bought the lamp. I think I've seen. I think I might subscribe to them. Antiques right. and profits. So I'll I'll subscribe. Yeah, I to just them. wrote it down. I'll go check out that and Michael. See what Michael Todd's up to. Yeah, so. I'm anxious to see that. It's gonna. Michael Todd would be. I I'm sure would be interested in um, having that discussion on what items are appropriate and not so appropriate to be selling. Yeah, so. because he has the, na the native, um, uh, and, he, and, he, and he actually is a native that collects native kitsch, so yeah. he would be good to talk about that, yeah. yeah. I want to hear we all got, five. We got so. things to plan, things to plan, a round table to have, and it yes. would be nice. A trip to California to plan. Yes, yes please. I'm trying to lure you guys safely to California. Maybe I'll bring Yvonne with me. Except when I say backpack. lure, it sounds like you guys might not come back from California, but you will. And you're <laughs> I got. I can't afford to stay there. So yes, yeah. Kay Disneyland. We we should do like a meetup where it's like Disneyland and antiquing. I could take you guys to all Mon the places I, want, I found. I have to go to the Monterey Bay Aquarium though. I have oh, to I'm down with that. The the Long yeah. Beach one or in Monterey Bay? Monterey Bay. The Long Beach one is crazy. It's so big. I've oh, been to better? Monterey. Okay, then you tell me. I I've never been to the Monterey Bay one, so we'll have to see. <laughs> Wait, uh, we're going to sleep on blow-up mattresses. Sure. Well, yeah. I, I have in the den, I got a twin bed that has another trundle underneath it. That's another twin mattress. And I have a comfortable couch so there's that i just want all of us to cuddle just to snuggle just to just snuggle all together yeah <laughs> just boobs and curves and hips and abs yep, for days. all together yeah. just all in one big pile yeah so i definitely vote dream. for um some kind of a, maybe like a 2022 meetup in california so people could plan it <laughs> that's me and jody then yeah <laughs> boobs butts but yeah all that boobs butts all hips. That. Lips, we got it. <laughs> Lips, um, hips, and butts, boobs. <laughs> so Avon's doing. Um, I she needs to talk about it because I'll screw it up. But she's doing a New Jersey meetup, and you know I'm into that. So yes, she's even. I'm not. I hope Sue this is okay. is probably going to be there. What's that? Sue Spezio will probably be there. So that's what I was just going to say. That I was like, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say this, but. I hope this is okay. Avon told me that she, you know, because Sue doesn't leave the house much. Avon told me that she got her to agree to to go to this. So, so Woo! yeah, I'm jealous. Yeah. 
All right, baby. I love you so much. You have to love you too. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and supporting me. And we'll see you next time. Yes. Love you all. Bye. Bye.